Okay, do you all want a little bit of a, a recap on what's going on? Because I feel like if you weren't here yesterday, you're probably like, where did this house come from? So this is our Sims and Bloom family. Um, this is our founder, Petal. And Petal is the Daisy generation. Um, she is currently dating this guy named Everett. And these are their two boys. We have Aster and Forrest. And she's actually pregnant again. So we're expecting another baby slash babies. Um, so we actually uh, ended up winning the lottery in episode one, which is on my YouTube channel if you missed it. So feel free to watch it there. Uh, which means we got 1 million simoleons. So I am basically allowing myself to build them a family home with no budget. Blessing my Sunday with you, Shella. So oh, bless. thank you, Zandu. Thanks for the resub as well. I hope you're having a good Sunday. Um, so yeah, this is what we have so far. Um, we obviously have to have a greenhouse in the backyard where we're going to be growing stuff with Petal. Um, but I really like the way that this house looks, honestly, from like all angles. I think it looks really nice. And uh, this is what it looks like on the inside so far. We have our little entryway. We have a family living room space with a with a little piano for teaching piano lessons. Um, and then we have a little play area for the kids, which I think is really cute. This is the door to the back garden. And then we have this uh, downstairs bathroom that has a changing table and a shower and a tub and everything in it. Um, over here is our kitchen and dining space, which uh, is still not fully done yet, but I think it's looking pretty good. We've got a little coffee bar. Um, and then over here is the more uh, formal kitchen area. And then through this door is our downstairs office where we have some photos of our kids. Um, this is mostly for Petal or Everett, whoever needs it. Um, and then over here is the downstairs guest room because you can actually have guests now if you didn't know. Um, people will ask to come stay over with you. So I was like, oh, that's perfect. We can have a little, a little guest room in case someone wants to come visit us. So we have our, our cute little guest room. Uh, and then this is our other downstairs bathroom where we have... Um, a shower and toilets and sink, uh, which actually I'm gonna put one of these things in the shower now that I think about it. Uh, there we go. F5. Since you can't have your Among Us drink from April <laughs> Fools, can you and Steven mess with everyone and switch colors? <laughs> oh my gosh, that'd be funny. That would be funny, Lily. I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, thank you for the resub though. And also, uh, Serpent's Princess, thank you so much for the first time sub chat. You know what that means. Enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing, but most importantly, enjoy your new smile. Let's go. And thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Uh, and then today we're going to be working on the upstairs. So, uh, this is the floor plan. I kind of picture this being a little game corner for everyone to play games in. Uh, and then this is going to be our eldest, Aster's bedroom. This is going to be um, Forrest's bedroom. This is going to be the nursery for the new child. And then we have a hall bathroom here. And then this will be the main primary bedroom. Um, I don't know if we're going to keep the fireplace there. I just put it there for fun. And then they're going to have like a huge bathroom. So we got a lot of work cut out for us today, you guys. Um, are you ready to get started? Hi, Tesquila, what's up? Hello. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to figure it out. I don't even know where I want to start. I think I'll probably start in this hallway up here and just kind of move from there. Also, I'm going to give myself another like 50,000 simoleons. Because <laughs> once again, we won the lottery in episode one. So I'm basically allowing us to build a house with no budget. Um, so it's whatever, honestly. There's no way I'm going to spend a million simoleons. You know what I mean? So we're just we're just going for it. I think I can put like a little hallway rug here. I love the look. Thank you. I'm loving the look of this house too. And people have been asking me if I'm going to post it on the gallery. And the answer is, uh, heck yeah, I am. So this will be 
going up on the gallery when I'm done with it. Um, which is normally not the case. Normally, I never have enough money to finish a build right away. But this time, we do have enough money to finish the build right away. So it will be going up when we're done. Which is exciting! Hi, welcome on in! Hello, Yoshi! Yeah, we just put the money in savings. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's totally... Yeah, we can we can say that happened. That's fine. I like that. Um, but yeah, how is everyone's day going? Are you all also playing The Sims today? The little rug over there. Winning the lottery really set them up. Yeah, it honestly did. Um, I do want to get another family portrait, but I think I want to wait until we have the baby. But I'll put it there for now, just so I remember that I want another family portrait. Because I think that's like a really nice wall for one. Um, but yeah, also all of this series is uploaded to my YouTube. So make sure you subscribe over there for more. 22 months. Wow. This wow. Well. You sound much better. I am. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cosmic Sandy. I'm feeling so much better. Um, e. and thank you, Marshmallow. Thank you for the resub for two months. E, welcome back. It's good to have you. Um, Okay, I might do this bathroom since that's like an easy, fast room. Kind of like pull us into the swing of things here. Has Kyle visited you yet? Uh, no, I actually haven't done any gameplay with this family since the, the pack came out. I've only been building, which is why I'm hoping today I will have a chance to um, get some gameplay in because I really want to play with the new pack in this new family. So we're going to work really hard to get this build done ASAP, but also not rush it. I feel like we got most of the difficult stuff out of the way yesterday, though. Like, the floor plan took a bit of time. Um, it also took a bit of time for us to build the outside of the house. And then, like, the downstairs had some really big spaces to fill. So I'm feeling confident that we will have some time for gameplay today. Ask me in like an hour if I still feel confident though, cause that could change instantly. Um, <laughs> I could be like, oh yeah, haha. Ha, I don't know what past Shella thought she was saying. Um, but I'm I'm hoping we, we get a chance today cause I think it'll be fun. Let's get some bathroom mats in here. Um, I married Kyle and I'm having a baby with him. No way, no way. Um. Oh, that's fun, Rosie. That's awesome. Kyle won the lottery in your save. Oh my god. An icon. As he should. Honestly, Kyle Kyleson, for those of you who are familiar with my content, when you hear that name, doesn't that sound like a name that I would name someone? Like, I literally call myself Shella Shellerson. So, like, when I saw Kyle Kyleson, I was like, oh my god. That sounds like... A name I would use. <laughs> it was really funny. Okay, this is the kids' bathroom, so I kind of want to, like, make it a little fun for them. Yes, you you did? Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought that. I was like, oh my god. Kyle is totally a Shella OC. I think so, too. I think not only did I inspire them to make a splash pad like Sim Guru Ninja confirmed... But I think I also inspired their naming convention for Kyle Kyleson. And that's my my personal canon. I don't really care if it's actually true or not. It's true in my heart. So. <laughs> yeah, no, his name is actually Kyle Kyleson, which is hilarious. I love it. I think it's so funny. Okay. This is the kids' bathroom, so I kind of want to use, like more colorful like fun related soaps and stuff thank you so much for being so welcoming <gasps> and sweet oh of course my pleasure always thank you thanks for being here y'all are the ones that are too nice okay i think the kitty rug is kind of fun um they channeled their inner shella they sure did they sure as heck did Um, 
Okay, I want to do like these towels maybe. But, oh. It's going to be a bit rough. I was just thinking like how cute the little void critter towel is. I think that's honestly fine. Just to leave it like that. Um, but thank you for the resub, Madison. Are you serious, Christine? Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. Do you like the new tile in the pack? Yeah, I'm using it right now. I think it's really nice. I quite enjoy it. Um, I'm gonna put a toothbrush in here. Because, again, it makes sense that the kids would have, like, a toothbrush or something. Maybe some of this stuff. Just like that. Without audio, but I wanted you to know that Tilly and that you're helping me not be anxious during a family function. Rish potato. I love you, Mama Karita. Thank you for the bits. I'm sorry that you're anxious during a family function, though. That's no fun. Um, also, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. It's my first time here live. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. It's good to have you. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, that toothbrush is freaking huge. Yeah, definitely a kid's bathroom. Building or Sims in Bloom? Uh, I'm actually building for my Sims in Bloom family right now. So we're doing a little bit of both. <laughs> you have pizza! Very good. Welcome back, Rhea. Isn't there a cap on the toothbrush? Oh, you know what? You're probably right. I think there's like, you have to take off the top or something. The clutter makes it look realistic. That's good. I want it to look like uh, they're raising some kids in this bathroom. So hopefully I'm getting those vibes across. Because that's definitely the vibes I'm going for. This shower kind of looks clean, but I suppose that's just the vibe of the house. Okay. I'm um, trying to decide what I want to do. Oh, I don't know. It's totally up to you, my friend. Okay, this is our first son's room. This is going to be a themed room. We know he likes frogs. I already have a couple items for him. We have this hopper decor and we have the golden soul or golden gnome simi in the pet beast simi um that his dad found for him in the dumpster so we kind of already have an idea of what this kid likes um i did want to check the new beds that came with the pack because i haven't gotten to use them yet so let me just look oh my god <gasps> wow should we do a bunk bed he had a bunk bed at his old house so i feel like maybe maybe he likes bunk beds We could do the whole little uh, shebang over here with the desk and everything. Okay, I feel like I want the desk to go on the other side though, so. I'll put the ladder there. Oh, wow. Look at all these. <gasps> Dinosaur. Oh my God. Dinosaur. Dinosaur bed. Yes. Oh, this is exciting. This is very exciting. Dumpster treasure is the best kind. Okay, yeah, you get it. You understand. Okay, we have our desk there. Um, I'm not too much of a fan of that chair. I don't think I'm gonna use that chair. I think I'll use like this one maybe, or the green. Yeah, I noticed that this dinosaur swatch matches the rug. Do you think I should get him the dinosaur rug? I feel like that's kind of a vibe. We could do it there or we could do it like maybe in that space over there. I think that's kind of nice. And he likes frogs too. So what if we did a froggy rug? Kind of here. We can make it a little smaller. <gasps> Stop. Wait. That's really cute. Oh my god. 
I like that. Oh, he has the best kids room. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I noticed some of the beds had like coloring pages on it. I think that's so cute. Because he, we found that he really did like art when we were in our old house. So I gave him a drawing table um, in the play area. So, okay. All right, I feel like next I want to pick out wallpaper. Um, now, I don't think there was really a wallpaper that came with this that I would like to use. So we're going to rely on some other wallpapers we already have. Um, hmm. I almost want to like... Do something like this with like a couple of accent walls, maybe. And then maybe the rest of the walls are just this really dark. I don't know. I think that's kind of nice. The rug is so precious. I know it's a frog rug. Isn't that so cute? He likes frogs. That's why. His whole personality is based off of this statue we got him at a young age. One of his prized possessions. There we go. We can put his little simmies. Can I actually like... Oh, I guess I can't slot them anywhere else. I don't want them to be like that. Okay, that's too far back. Sorry, this is the tedious part. There we go. Not too bad. His little simmies. I'm being brave at the airport all by myself. Thanks for being a happy comfort stream. I can keep on my AirPod. I got you. We're all at the airport with you right now. Together. We got this. Hi, Kate. Thank you for the resub for 17 months. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. We also got new backpacks and stuff, right? Oh my god, stop. That's so cute. We got little crafts and stuff. Maybe I'll put this here and we can get like a different shelf for uh, this thingy. Because I, I want to use some of the new items. I feel like that's like perfect. Where are the books? <laughs> That's the problem. We get new clutter and then all of a sudden I'm like, I don't know where anything is anymore. There they are. I wanted to use these kind of as like maybe uh, schoolwork binders and stuff like that. There we go. What does the outside of the house look like? Uh, I can show you. This is the outside so far. It's pretty much structurally done. We just have to do a lot of backyard work. It's going to be a minute. It's going to be a hot minute. Okay. Um, let's figure out the rest of the furniture that's going to go in here. I do like the idea of him having a bookshelf, but I don't know which wall to put it on. Because we have so much stuff. He had this one at the old place. Should I just use this one again? Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Can't wait to get the new pack tomorrow. Oh my god, you're getting it tomorrow. That's so exciting. Do you have any idea on what you would like to to build first? That's always my first question for people. Although I guess not everyone's a builder, so maybe I shouldn't ask what people want to build first. Maybe we can do a corner bookshelf like that. That's kind of fun. It's like a new item. It matches the room very well, too. Uh, we do need to get a dresser. He's going to love this room. Um, Is this in the new world? Yeah, it is. It's on the lot that... um. The... I think they're called the Michaelsons. I might have that wrong. Oh my god, is that a Whalebert backpack? Is there a froggy backpack? I don't think so. There, this is a dinosaur backpack, though. He would definitely have this one. Definitely. That's illegal. What are you doing? <gasps> Thank you so much for always giving me inspiration for gameplay. Oh. 
<laughs> You're so sweet. Oh, thank you. I'm really glad that I can help in that way. Um, thanks for hanging out in my streams. Also, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Yeah, the frog's floating. Don't worry. I'm I'm gonna get him a dresser. Just taking me a minute. It's just taking me a minute. Do we have any? Just those? Okay. Hmm. What dresser for a young boy? I could just use these again, but I feel like that's not enough. Hmm. I might just do this one. Right by the window there. Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use a honeycomb. Oh my god. <laughs> Leave it to Brie. Come on in with the crazy puns. I kind of like this one with the paint on it. What do you guys think? Thanks for the bits, Brie. When is the shell due? Uh, exclamation point shell. It'll have the date in there. I can't remember. So excited for this legacy. Let's go. Thank you, Quake, for the resub. Hi, baby. When you have to think a punner for bits, I know. The inside of me is dying every time I have to think Brie for bits. It hurts. Okay, this is a new, like, height chart thing. I don't know if I like this one as much as I like the other one. The cow plant? Okay, I take it back. I really like the cow plant. That's so cute. But this dinosaur definitely matches our our dinosaur theme, so I'm going to keep that. Also, the tooth fairy posters are kind of hilarious. Maybe he's like a tooth fairy stan. I like that. There's no swatches, though. Kind of weird. Maybe he tried to paint it himself. Yeah, I feel like he's a really artistic kid. So maybe he did try to paint it himself. Um, I'm going to do a Blurfy in the corner, I believe. Oh, I believe. We'll get his little Triceratops Blurfy again. I think that's nice. And then I'm trying to decide what to put over here. Should I just put some toys, do you think? Like maybe we get a little toy box. And, uh, maybe... I guess I could get him a little artist table in his own bedroom. So that way he doesn't have to go all the way downstairs to use it every time. So maybe something like that. Do they have the third baby already? No, not yet. She's still pregnant, so... No cow, no cow plants for you? Oh no, we have to have a cow plant in this house. It's part of the legacy challenge. I like this toy box because it looks like a dinosaur. I feel like it matches the theme. I think that's really good. Also, I'm going to get this um, friendship bracelet kit for him. I don't know if he can use it yet, but I feel like he would really like to use it eventually. So I'm going to get the friendship bracelet kit. This is the cutest room. I know. I love it so much for him. Like, it's so good. Okay. Uh, curtains. I think we just have blue. Yeah, the blue's fine. The blue is all right. Okay, I'm not a fan of how those look, though. I might have to do... curtains like this. Why are they like that, actually? I'm not a fan of how these look. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay. There we go. This will be the first baby with all the milestones, right? Yeah. Water so insecure because it's never called hot. <sighs> Thank you, Bree. All around me are familiar faces. What's this? A sculpture? 
Is this stuff that like helps with their imagination and stuff? <gasps> Are these like playable items? I haven't played with them yet. Should I put this in here? I think that looks so good. It's just decor. Okay, well, I think this looks really cool because it looks like he made it himself, right? I think that's such a vibe for his bedroom. Um, I really like that. It's so cute, right? Like, oh my gosh, there's so many uh little little things in here. It it makes it look like the kids are using their imagination to like make things which i think is a really cool for storytelling i'm gonna just put this robot in here as another toy all right so this is aster's bedroom i think it's pretty much done i don't really think we need anything else in terms of furniture i feel like he has everything he needs in there i guess i have to redecorate my child's bedroom right now uh-huh I think that this is perfect for like a kid the age of like seven, right? He has the coolest room, I know. The froggy rug is definitely one of my favorites, so. I'll just put another plushie back here too, just for fun. We'll do orange. Okay. Um, now I guess we can move on to Forrest's bedroom. Now, Forrest is still a toddler, so coming up with ideas for Forrest's bedroom is a little less easy because we don't really know too much about his personality yet. Honestly, I can't even remember what trait he has, so that's fine. <laughs> but he won't be a toddler for... Actually, how long is he going to be a toddler for? Oh, quite a bit. What kind of car does a sheep like to drive? A Lamborghini. A Lamborghini. <laughs> My God, Bree, you have to stop. Okay, he's a happy infant who is independent. So we love that for him. Maybe I, I can literally just make it forest themed. Like the tree decal in his room. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, what if what if we just make it like feel like a forest in here. Um, also, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I know it's it's kind of dumb, but like. What if we just did a couple of these trees? Wait, that's so cute. Are you kidding me? It looks like the sloth is like sleeping over his bed. Oh, my God. It's too cute for me. I can't handle it. There we go. I like that the trees are different too because it makes me feel like I can use the item more than once. Uh, what wallpaper should we do for forest? Hmm. There isn't like a tree wallpaper we do have the leaf wallpaper like this one but i feel like that's like a little too adult for him like that looks a little a little grown up maybe i just do something like this i don't know the base game mint one with the squares i don't know if i like that pattern very much Hmm. We could just keep it simple. Like this one. <laughs> oh, this grass one. Wait, that's good. You're right. We should do that. I like that. I don't know if I should do that on every wall, though. That feels a bit excessive. Um, I don't know. Arigato. 
I think that's good. Cute. Okay, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I feel like we need more cute, like, kid wallpaper. I agree with you. Um, also, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Would it be dumb for me to do this? Realistically, putting this in a toddler's bedroom is, like, a hazard. But, like, this is The Sims, and it's kind of cool. Because his name is Forrest. Like, when else am I going to use that? I think it's kind of fun. It's also, it also like ties in the green over here too, I feel like. Okay, let's look for green rugs. Green rugs. We have froggy rug. Uh, Thanks for the follows, welcome in. Oh my gosh, I really appreciate all the follows, you guys. Thank you. Do ladybug rug. Honestly, I never use this rug. It's a little weird sized, I don't know. We could just copy our brother's bedroom and do a froggy rug, but I feel like that's easy. This is like perfect, but too small. What if I like doubled it up or something? What if I did something like that? Is that weird? Oops. Or do we kind of like that? It looks great. Okay. I actually kind of liked it better when it was like this. There we go. Hi, Nomi. How are the vibes today? Uh, Pretty good. I feel like we're all having a good time, right? I think so. Or at least I hope so. I, uh, you know, I shouldn't speak for everyone. I'm having a good time. I feel like that's pretty good. Oh, we also have this. Wait a minute. That's kind of fun. I like that a little better, I think. What about the lobster rug? Okay. Does this fit the room shape like almost perfectly? Yes. Should we use it? Like... It's almost like this rug was made for this room. Hi, welcome in. I feel like it's nice. I like it. Okay, I'll allow it. Because I'm feeling in a nice mood. Otherwise, otherwise, there's also this. The splash pad rug. Which is also interesting, but I feel like that this might fit the space just ever so slightly better. Um, okay, that's good. Okay, now we need the rest of our furniture in here, which... Hold on, this froggy chair? Okay, if we put stuff in the backyard, that froggy chair is definitely Aster's. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Um, I feel like that is so cute in here. We should probably put a, a toddler potty in here as well. I think like a bunch of animals is kind of cute for Forrest. Like maybe, maybe he really likes animals at this age. Like that's the only thing he's really obsessed with. Very cute. Yes, froggy chair. Very good. Very good. Oh, you guys, I'm loving this bedroom. Like, holy cannoli. 
We're really popping off right now. Do you feel it? Get our little toddler nightlight. I could use the new llama. Oh my god, wait. I literally haven't seen that object. Where is it? Where's the new llama? Am I just blind? It's in the base game. Of oh. Oh no. What is it? Is it like a statue? It's called Lulu Llama. Okay. I want to find it in the catalog so that way I know where it is. I wonder if it's in here. It is not in here. This llama's in here, but that's not the llama we're looking for. What category is it in? Misc decorations? I want to I want to be able to find it without having to go Frick, I'm going to have to look for it. Misc decorations. This is the hardest part about getting new furniture and stuff is finding the new items they add to the game. There it is. Lala the llama. This is freaking huge. Why is it so big? <laughs> I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, I think. Cause like, that's crazy. <laughs> Can I sit on it? It looks like you could sit on it. That's the thing. Like that thing is massive. Okay. Let's do a dresser. What's the kitty's name? Oh, that's Olivia. Thanks for the follow. Scratches for Olivia. Welcome in. Very good. You want to put that in the pen for a llama? I mean... You're free to do as you would like. I think you should. I want this llama to be like here maybe. That's so fun. I guess I just don't understand why it's just so massive. <laughs> like On the Sims team, they were like, okay, you guys, we need some items for this new update. And someone was like, giant llama. And they're like, yeah, yeah, okay, next. What, what else should we add? How many rooms are left? Uh, this is our upstairs so far, so we still got about half of it left. You think they'd be scared of that as a toddler? Yeah, honestly. I might be scared of this as a toddler. Okay, what else should be in a toddler bedroom? We should probably get a potty. For sure. Toddler potty. Uh, and then maybe, like, some play stuff over here. Blocks. Okay, blocks is a good idea. A blurfy. Oh, yeah. Do I want to put a blurfy in this room? I guess I could put a blurfy right there. That's pretty good. Blocks. We could get the wabbit tablet as well. So I'll put that on the floor. Or maybe up here. There are new potties? Yeah, there are. Um, I think I have some of the new ones downstairs. Okay, what else? Should I get a toy chest up here too, do you think? A little toy box. 
A place to change diapers. Um, with toddlers, do you change their diapers in the on a changing table? Or do the Sims just like do the thing where they like toss the kid in the air? You do? Okay, so I do need a changing table in here then. So I have to rethink this. Hmm. We might have to do a different dresser. Because I feel like that's a really good spot for a changing table. I'm going to do a changing table here. You have to do this before they know how to use the potty. Well, technically my son is independent, so he actually can use the potty by himself. Does that change anything? He has the independent trait. So I don't actually know if he needs a changing table. But I kind of like having one in the room anyways, because I feel like... I feel like that just makes sense to have in a kid's room. So I think I might just keep it for that sake. You know what I mean? Um, might want to put a trash near the table. I actually like having the trash because then I can put it in my dumpster. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I'm I'm honestly okay if they uh just poop on the floor. <laughs> that sounds kind of weird, but it's it's a strategy, okay? I'll put the toddler potty in there. Thanks for the follows. Welcome in, friends. Hi, light blue. Welcome in. Okay, I need a dresser in here still. So... Um... I guess I can just do like this maybe. As a vertical dresser. I'm kind of sad that so much of this is hidden though. Like that makes me sad. Wonder if I can do this instead and like... Just put the llama here. Or maybe... <laughs> I might not be able to have the llama in this room, you guys. Maybe we can try to put the llama in the nursery. Thanks for the scratches for Olivia. Okay, I like that. I think this is really fun. I'll put the little sheep right here. There we go. What do we think? I think that this is a really nice toddler bedroom. Hello, I need that house ASAP. Don't worry, I'm going to post it whenever I'm done with it. It'll be on the gallery very soon. I love coming in and hearing poop talk. Look, would it really be a Shella stream without a little bit of pee pee poo poo? Would you even subscribe if there wasn't pee pee poo poo? Let's be honest. Changing tables act as a dresser in the game. Oh, that's good to know. I think I still like having the dresser, though. I think it looks good there. I like that. But the little tree. Oh, it's so cute. I love the little the little sloth right there, too. I think that this is good, though, for our toddler bedroom. This is for Forest. You put rooms together so well, I could never. Aw, thank you. I'm here for the pee-pee poo-poo. No, that's honestly, that's fair. I'm here for Olivia and pee-pee poo-poo talk. I get it. I get it. Um, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. <clears throat> I just need a moment here. I have like cat fuzzies all over my nose. And you know, like after you blow your nose for a couple of days, how it gets like really dry and crusty. I'm in the crust era right now. So like cat fur is just sticking to my nose. It's terrible. It's a bad time to be alive. Um, okay, I like it. We can now move on to the nursery. So this is going to be for our, our, our unborn child. So we don't know anything about this kid. We're also hoping that it's only one kid. I'm going to prep it for only one kid. So if we have, if we end up having two kids, we're going to have a problem. Okay. Um, cause I'm not prepared for that. <laughs> so here we go. 
I kind of like the crib being right by the window. I think that's really fun. Um, I might try to keep it pretty. I mean, we could go with some green pastels. Although our other room is green, so maybe I'll just keep it neutral in here with the white and stuff. Um, hi, welcome in. Came for the stream, stayed for pee pee poo poo. That's valid. Uh, the house is looking good so far. Thank you. Uh, guys, if it's twins, I might have to quit streaming forever. I'm going to be honest with you. That might be it for me. Okay. Um, let's get a bassinet in here as well. Where is the new bassinet? I swear I can never find it. Here we go. Um, honestly, I might put the bassinet in the parents' bedroom. We'll have to see. Did you do any gameplay in this legacy yesterday? No, it was all building. All building yesterday. And all building today, too. As you can see, this is a massive home for our Sims family. So, uh, it's taken me quite some time to fully finish the build. Um, but we're on the second floor, and I feel like we're moving at a really good speed right now. Uh, we have our oldest son, Aster, who's going to be in this dino froggy bedroom. And then our youngest son, Forrest, is going to be in this animal forest bedroom. And now we're going to work on the nursery. So there's a glitched window. There we go. They'll probably glitch again. Is this window custom content? No, this actually comes with the Growing Together pack. It's really, really pretty, isn't it? I'm really happy with it. Okay. I think I'll base the whole room off of whatever this rug is. So, no pressure. Hi. We could do like a cloud-themed nursery. That's kind of fun. Like very soft vibes. Thank you for the resub, Willow. Also, thanks for the follows, friends. Welcome in. Some scritches for Olivia. Um, let's go. Hi, welcome in, Marissa. I hope the baby's a girl. I hope so, too, because we have two boys right now, and I'm just like, I'm over it. You know what I mean? We could have, like, cloud shelves in here, because we do need a, a changing table. So that could be kind of fun. Right? Will this home be available on the gallery? Yeah, I'm going to upload it when I'm... Uh, as soon as I'm finished with it. So anyone could download it. Um, I like that. Little polar bear, maybe. Is there a white swatch on this? There is. Okay. Yeah, I think for the wallpaper, isn't there like uh, a gradient wallpaper that we could pretend is like a sky? Oh, that's a little bright. I don't know if I like that. It feels a little bright. Hi, welcome in. Hello. What is this legacy? Uh, This is the Sims in Bloom legacy. And if you're new here, we're currently building uh, a family home for our Sims in Bloom family. And uh, they won the lottery, actually. So I don't have a budget. Oh, this looks better. This looks like a sunrise. Even though it has a little bit of orange in it, I feel like that's lighter. Which is kind of more of the vibe that I want. Now these actually look like clouds. That is, wait, this is so pretty, you guys. Oh my God, we're making a cloud nursery. How exciting. I kind of like it. Yeah, I know there's like some cloud decals. We should probably add those, right? Baby's first rug, maybe. Um, I just got to get all of our basics in here first because we're gonna need 
Where are the cloud decals? Where are you? And I'm sorry. There they are. Wow, look at how nice that is. This is like the perfect nursery for your newborn child. It's so peaceful in here. I like that. I mean, it looks so cute with the cloud rug, doesn't it? Okay, um, I need a rocking chair in here. And I think there's one that comes in the new pack. That would be really good. This one, I really like this one. This is like a nursery rocking chair. Also, this like little sheep kind of matches our theme that we have going on in here. Our cloud theme. Um, I think I'll put the rocking chair kind of in this corner, maybe. I don't actually know if I want this. I don't think I do. But I like that. Oh, how perfect. Hi! Twitch babies the same time as we've got infants. Let's go! Thank you, Hufflepuff, for the resub for 18 months. Thank you so much. Okay. Maybe maybe I put this like right here. Also, I'm not putting a trash can in here, so don't even don't even ask me to, because I'm not doing it. Should I no, that's like too big. That's too much. I need like a cute little bookshelf or something. Rish, hello. Maybe these, like this. That's kind of cute, right? Virgo, thank you for the nine months. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Cat fur. Get out. Get out. Um, okay, dresser. I want a dresser in here, but I don't know which one yet. I might honestly go with these. I feel like these are just really uh really cute and peaceful. Happy Sunday, you wrist shout. Happy Sunday! Thank you, Bumble D. Almost two years. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. How is that even possible for people to be in this community for that long? I like that. Uh, we should get a little side table here. Because, yeah, I saw someone talk about the cloud nightlight in the, in the chat. And I agree. I think that's perfect. Hello. That room looks adorable with the clouds rich love. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Amy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thanks for all the resubs and all the follows. Um, thank you, Mandy. You're very sweet. Thank you so much. I might put a Blurfy in here for aesthetic purposes. I know that the infants can't really interact with a lot of items, but I'm being selfish oh, no, no. and going off of vibes, you know? The moon light is so perfect in here. Wouldn't you agree? Oh my god, it's perfect. I actually kind of like the yellow. I didn't say that. Don't clip that. Uh, Hamlet, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. Infants can interact with Blurfy. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, then I think maybe... Which Blurfy would fit the best in here? Maybe like white cat Blurfy? Is a good one. Oh my god! Whoa! Cordy Cakes gifting five community subs! Let's go! Can we get some love and hype in the chat, you guys? That is so sweet of you. You did not need to do that. Oh my god. What the heck? Someone mentioned the cloud hanging lamp. Yeah, we can do that. I'm watching you. This room is so soft and fluffy looking. I know. Oh, slash if you would sleep in this room. Because honestly... I'm a grown adult and I would sleep in this room. Oh, slash. It's me. Oh, I want to sleep here. Okay, what about the curtains? Should we see if the new curtains will work? I feel like they might. They're kind of the vibe. I actually like it clipping better. I, 
think that looks really good. That is so soft. Ultimate nursery vibes. Yeah, we got him. You want a nursery? We got him, nursery. Sunshine, thank you for the resub as well. Oh my gosh, thank you all. I appreciate it. I'm not adding a diaper pail. I don't want to. I don't know if I fully like this corner. I have to decide. There's something off about this corner here. Maybe that's better? I don't know. Did those decals glow? I don't think they're glowing. I think maybe it's just the way the light is. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, a toy basket. Wait, I know exactly what you're thinking about. Oh, yeah, that's a good, good idea. Oh, we also have this item. Which, um, maybe I'll place that like right here just to have it. Because it's soft and cute. I'm placing them around my decals, which I don't recommend. <laughs> but here we are. Um, where are the toy baskets? The new ones. I'm gonna have to find them, aren't I? Here we go. Deep dive into some clutter. I feel like I'm not gonna put one of these in here because we have some downstairs. So I think that makes sense. Are they base game? Is that why? They might be base game. Hashtag no die for pails. Party popper. Party <laughs> popper. Party popper. Party popper. Thank you, Trues. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, no diaper pails because I am selling their diapers for money. I actually have a video that I'm working on uh, for YouTube, by the way. Um, and it's called uh, Farming Poo in The Sims. And it's exactly what you think it might be. I'm going to be farming my kids poop for money That's so subscribe <laughs> subscribe for that <laughs> that sounds so on brand i know the people want it okay i know what the people want you can sell them yeah you can uh either put it in the money trash can or get a dumpster and just dumpster dive with the with the poo so whatever whatever feels right for you you know i think i'm gonna put this nightlight over here maybe on the second one that's so cute this is so aesthetic um when infants give you poop make money exactly that's that's the thought behind it at least okay i'm looking for the toy basket i really think maybe it came in base game update and i just can't see it am i the issue here it is there was another one too though this one yeah we're gonna have like both of these I could actually put this one here maybe i like this a lot um katie thank you for the one year resub by the way can we get some rich pride in the chat for that gay badge let's freaking go i might put one of these over here and then like put this on top of it there we go So stinking cute. Um, I don't know if we have a spot for a llama. Maybe. Maybe here. Do we like that? I think that this is good. Uh, Deanna, thank you for the reason for four months as well. Thank you so much. The blue and white swatch could be cuter. We can do that. 
Katie, thanks for gifting a sub. Oh my gosh. Holy cannoli, you guys. All right. Okay. I think... Well, do I want to put this over here? No, I actually like it over there. I think it looks good where it is. Okay. Can you design my home? Yeah, I got you. Does anyone want a very specific cloud-themed nursery? Because I know how to make that. I'll be right over. I think a cloud-themed nursery is really cute. Um, I'm going to see if I can put some of that diaper clutter, though, up here. Oh my goodness! Whoa! Chase me! Thank you for gifting five community subs! Can we get some absolute love and hype in the chat, you guys? Thank you! Oh my god! You're too sweet. I hope everyone enjoys their emotes and ad-free viewing. Oh, were those diaper items? Those were base game too, weren't they? <laughs> Dang. Here they are. Thanks for the follows, by the way. Welcome in, friends. I hope you're all having a lovely day. There we go. Uh, actually, maybe I'll put this one on this shelf. There we go. You just brought, bought the pack? Let's go. I need to add growing together on my favorite packs list because I love it. Thank you, Brie, for enlightening us on that information. <laughs> that makes so much sense, moving the shelf up to the bottom of the item. It's a lot easier if you do it that way. At least that's how I found it to be. Okay. I think this nursery might be done. What do we think? Thoughts? Um, also, there were a lot of follows that just happened, so let me give Olivia some scritches from all of you. Thank you so much. She's getting a group scritcherino. Good girl. Welcome in! Have I saved? I'll save right now. Good girl. She's like fast asleep. It looks fantastic. I'm obs I'm like obsessed. I can't wait to have our baby. Okay. Let's okay, here's the thing. It better only be one baby. Could you imagine we have two babies and I have to like rework this nursery? I'm gonna be upset. Alright, let's move on to the main bedroom, the parents' bedroom. Here we go. Yeah, she's pregnant right now, so we're hoping to have the baby pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Okay, um, I want to use... Do I want to use the new bed? I kind of do. I don't know if I like it that much. I mean, I guess it's kind of cute. I'll just use a neutral color. And go off of that. I could put the bed like up against the window like this, but I don't know. I was gonna do some yoga stuff over there. Hmm. We can always do yoga stuff in the backyard. The new side tables, aren't they cute? I really like the new side tables. I'm actually gonna use those for my. For my bed. I think that's nice. Um, and then I really like this light that came with it. I think that is absolutely stunning. Like, are you kidding me? Do you think the parents are going to get married? I think they will. Um, eventually. I just don't know when that's going to happen. If I want to do the fireplace, I'm going to keep it there. 
Should I put like a TV in the parents' room? I feel like that might be a bad idea. Like a little TV above the fireplace. I don't know. I feel like that might not work very well. I don't think I want to. But yeah, I'm thinking of doing like a little bit of a, a couch moment. Also, I think this is really nice. Above the fireplace. Oh, my career legacy is in an article? No way. That's crazy to me. Um, that I wrote a challenge and other people might have it in their articles and stuff. Like, that kind of blows my mind. And it's a little scary, too. Because I'm like, oh no, I hope it's all good stuff. But obviously, criticism is inevitable to some degree. So, if I do that color, like, hold on a moment. I thought there was like a, maybe not. I don't know about that couch. Um, Did I get rid of most of the lottery money? Yeah, we actually deleted all of our lottery money. Um, So I'm just building with no budget essentially. And it's a lot of fun. I could also just do like two chairs. Maybe maybe two singular chairs is what I need. What are the chairs that came with this? Oh. Yeah, most of them are ugly. <laughs> oh my god, Poe almost did some modding. Do you think Poe would ban everyone? I think Poe would. Yeah. Well, if everyone starts getting banned, it's probably Courtney's cat. So. <laughs> Is that even legal? What do you call a fake noodle? An imposter. God damn it, Bree. <laughs> I'll never be safe. I'll never be safe from Bree. Um. I was thinking maybe like this rug. It's really cozy. Poe the Punisher. Wow. That's quite the title. I like that. I think that's nice. I think Poe would like that too. Scratches for Poe. Do you think my sims can still sit if the rug is that- or if the chairs are that close? I feel like probably they can, right? I feel like it'd be kind of crazy if they couldn't. Yes? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do... Oh, I'm gonna do... A mirror above this. And then we need something for this corner over here. I'm thinking maybe like a bookshelf would be good. Probably, do I want to use my favorite bookshelf? I mean, yes, of course I want to use my favorite bookshelf, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> this build is looking amazing. Do you think so? That makes me so happy. I'm really liking how it's all kind of coming together. Um, I even think about being nice to me right now. Oh, oh dear. My God. I could tell a joke about pizza, but it's a little cheesy. What was that? I don't know if I heard what just happened there. Darn. Guess I missed it. You hate to see it, chat. You really do. I think I could do some, like, blankets or something here. Kind of by the fire. I think that's cozy. Okay, and then we can do if we're if we were to have a baby, we can put the bassinet just like at the foot of the bed, I suppose. And then put something else there later. Yeah. I like that. This is very nice. I'm liking this uh bedroom. 
Stinky, gross, disgusting. I hate it. Oh. Is that why the Pokemon is named Poliwag? The more you know. Probably, huh? Um, hi, William. How am I liking the new expansion pack? Bestie, I'm literally thriving so hard right now. Like, I'm having a great time. I feel like I would kind of like to put some family photos on this wall. So we're going to have to take some more pictures. So I might leave that wall a little bit empty for now. But we... I already did like a couple of gallery walls and stuff downstairs. So we could just uh, take some more photos. And put some family photos up here. Because uh, that wall feels very empty. Is there anything else I need in this bedroom at the moment? Probably some curtains. Would be about it. I love this. Look at how like nice that view is, by the way. Like if you're sleeping in this bed, you get the view of the ocean like from the window. Oh my gosh. Thanks for redeeming scratches for Olivia. Thank you so much. Hi, Salaplander. It's good to see you. Hey, Artsy Emma. Welcome in. Hi, Gritty Gator. Hello. Yeah, I think a photo collage would look really good of them on the wall. I think that'd be nice. I am. Okay, I kind of want to put an autumn in here. I am feeling like an autumn in here is kind of the, the vibe. Um, should I just put the baby bassinet like in this corner? I feel like that's probably fine. Yeah, the baby doesn't care where it is as long as it's not outside. Unfortunately, I have to not just leave infants out in the cold rain anymore. Really hate that for me, to be honest with you. Put the kid next to the fire? Oh no, I don't know about that. Putting the kid's handprints on the wall was a cute idea. Oh, I don't think I have those because my kids were born before I got the pack. So we will have one for this new kid that isn't born yet. And I agree, we should put the handprint on the wall when we get it. But, oh dear. Oh! <laughs> Every freaking time I get a heart attack. <laughs> Why do I jump scare myself? Oh my God. Hi everyone, holy cannoli. Thank you for the raid, Sparky. How's it going? How are you today? Thank you for coming on in. If you're new here, my name's Shella and I use she, her pronouns. And we're currently building a house for my uh, Sims and Bloom family, having a really good time. Um, how was your stream and what did you get up to today, Sparky? Were you also uh, playing with the new pack, I'm assuming? Uh, but thanks for the follows, by the way. Welcome on in, rosy cheeks and shadows. I'll give Olivia some scritches. Uh, Lily with the follow as well. Thank you so much. Olivia's like, yes, give me more, more scritches. Um, oh, let me show you my house. Oh my god. It's almost, we're almost done furnishing it. Uh, but this is my family out here in the rain, uh, waiting for me to finish their house. Um, but we just started this Let's Play. This is only episode four. Um, so we're already doing pretty well. You might be wondering, Shella, how can you afford a house like this if you're only on episode four? Well, I won the lottery in the first episode, so I got a million simoleons. And then I deleted all of the money because I didn't want it. So now I'm just building a house with no limits. Um, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> stream was good. I was playing with the new pack. I give the Sims a hard time, but I actually really enjoy this one. Same. Oh my God. I was just saying like, I need to add this pack to my favorite packs list. Because I feel like it has so much gameplay that makes my Sims feel so much more like people. And like personalities and stuff like that so i'm thriving with this pack it's definitely if not my favorite one of my favorites 
I don't want to have a final verdict on that yet because I feel like that's a little a little too ambitious to have a verdict, but um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, also, Rainbow Skeleton, thank you for the resub for 18 months. And thank you for all the follows, friend. Welcome on in. Um, I really appreciate it. Some of the build items are nice. The milestones are amazing and the new traits. I know, I'm like obsessed with it. Literally so obsessed with everything. I'm honestly overwhelmed. Like there's so much new stuff that they added that I'm like, oh, I didn't realize. <gasps> oh my gosh, hey! We got another raid. Welcome on in, Candy Coated Kitten. Thank you for the raid. Hello, friends. Welcome in. My name is Shella. And I'm just, I'm just a little building, a little building girl today. We're just building with a new pack. Um, I hope you had a great stream. Thank you for bringing your community over here. Um, but yeah, like I feel overwhelmed with all of the new stuff that's in this pack. Like I still haven't even done that much. Like I haven't even done gameplay with this family yet with the new pack. So I'm just overwhelmed. Um, but thank you for the raid, uh, and Book of Danny and Witchy, Freya, thank you for the follows. Scritches for Olivia, welcome in. Um, would you all like the, uh, would you all like a build tour so far, since we just got, uh, some raids? I would so be down to show you everything we've done with the house so far. It's almost done. So, I'm okay with doing a little, a little house tour. I'm going to be posting this too, like in a couple of seconds. I say seconds, but that actually means hours because I have to do the backyard too. Um, okay. So this is for my Sims in Bloom Let's Play. Um, these are my Sims. This is uh, Petal. She's our founder. She's the Daisy Generation, uh, which this series is on my YouTube channel. So if you want to watch it from the beginning, um, go ahead and watch it. It's there. So feel free to check it out on YouTube. Uh, Petal is currently pregnant with their third and hopefully not fourth child. I only want one more. Um, so Petal is pregnant. This is their oldest son, Aster. And this is uh, their youngest their youngest son, Forrest. And then this is her boyfriend, Everett. And uh, they are millionaires. They won the lottery. Um, so I'm building them a nice house. This is what it looks like so far on the outside. Obviously, I have not done anything back here yet. Um, but I'll show you the first floor. So here's our little entryway. And I have like tons of pictures of them on the walls and stuff. We got family photos and I'm like obsessed with that. Uh, we have a little piano corner over here with the big window. And then this is kind of our family living room space. Um which I've put some kid items in there because we're going to have another kid. Um, and then over here we have what's the playroom. And right now it's kind of catering towards like younger children. Uh, but I feel like when they grow up, we can make this like a game table area. Uh, maybe has some more skill items in here. Um, and then that's the back door. This is the downstairs bathroom. Has everything you need. Changing table, shower, all that stuff. Over here is like our kitchen. Um, so we got a full kitchen. We have like, um, it's not very cluttered in here. I will say I haven't really done great with the kitchen. <laughs> we have a dining area. And then, um, over here is our guest room because you can have guests now that come stay with your Sims. So I'm like, oh my God, the guest room actually gets used. Are you kidding me? That's so freaking cool. Like I'm obsessed with that. Uh, so we have a guest room here for in case we ever have, uh, someone come over and stay with us. Uh, also, Jules, thank you for the resub. And Linz, thank you for the resub as well. I appreciate you both. Uh, we have a little uh, bathroom down here with a shower, toilet, all that stuff. This is our office. A couple more like family photos in here. Uh, and then upstairs is what we're working on right now. Uh, this is our little like gaming corner. We have like what I would imagine would be like puzzles and family games that they can actually play on this game table. Uh, this is Aster's bedroom. He's super into frogs. Uh, and dinosaurs so we made him a froggy dinosaur bedroom and i'm actually obsessed with this room like it's so cute uh our dad dumpster dived for a bunch of these things for us we got a lot of fun toys like what it this is like a dream kids bedroom and he's the oldest so he got the biggest bedroom 
Uh, this is for our toddler florist and he's super into like animals right now. So we made him like a little kind of like a jungle animal themed bedroom. Um, lots of lots of fun things in here. Uh, and then we have the kids bathroom upstairs with all of their toothpaste and stuff. And then over here, we just made this room and I'm obsessed with it. This is our nursery and it's cloud themed. So it's super soft. We got like a sky kind of vibe going on and like, oh my God, I'm literally obsessed. Um, I'm like, this is actually probably my favorite nursery I've ever made. Uh, so I really like it. And then we're working on the parents bedroom right now, which is this one. Uh, whenever you all came into the stream. So yeah, that's the house tour. And uh, we know they're having a baby, so I put a bassinet here. And then I think we're going to keep this wall open for family photos because I want to take more. So yeah, welcome in. <laughs> um, I would have gone wild for that frog room growing up. I know, I honestly, I feel like I would like any of those rooms. Disgusting. I hate it. Um, what kind of paws do add sky? Yo, swaggins. Mods, I'm going to need you to take down Bree and remove them from my stream. I can't believe this. There's too many puns. Um, but yeah, welcome in. Hopefully, hopefully you all like building because we're doing a lot of building today, but I'm also trying to build in a speedy enough manner that we're able to do some gameplay. So, um, which I think we're ready to do this bathroom now. We have a massive bathroom and I'm thinking like corner tub energy. Like this bathroom is big enough for this. You can't tell me otherwise. I think we get a jacuzzi. And I think it's going to be really nice. It's a beautiful build. Thank you. I'm going to put it on my gallery. So um, if any of you uh, like downloading builds off the gallery, uh, you'll be able to do that. So yeah. Luxury bathroom. Yeah. I feel like we need a shower in here too, though. So I'm trying to decide like how to do that. Hmm. I feel like normally I would just wall this off and put it here, but I don't know. Oh, I don't know. What if we, what if we like, what if we like turn this into a shower area here? Kind of like that. Just put a wall there. We could even make this into like glass. So it's like a little... Isn't there, there might actually be frosted glass that came with spa day, which might do a little better for what we need. I actually kind of like the blue. Yeah, I like that. Um, I've never heard of this challenge. I love finding new challenges. Yeah, this one is really fun. I just started it. Um, yeah, thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for all the follows, friends. Welcome in. Scratches for Olivia. Thank you. I like this. I think that this is nice. Maybe tiles. Um, we already have tiles in the bathroom. The floor is tiled and so is the wall. So I think I, I think I like the choices I have here. I think that this is nice. Um, this window, uh, this came with the new pack. Uh, it's literally perfect. It's the only triangle window we have in the game so far I think so I'm really happy with it um hi day ninja I stumbled across your YouTube and now your twitch thank you I appreciate it. thank you for supporting me on YouTube and twitch that means a lot I really appreciate it oh my gosh I will say I'm a little overwhelmed there's just so many so many things happening right now so I'm sorry if I missed any messages you guys <laughs> oh I'm not trying to She's doing her best, but she also has ADHD. So please give her some grace. Thank you. Okay, here we go. I'm doing amazing. Okay, thank you. Also high psyched. <laughs> um, I want to do double sinks because this is like a primary bathroom. And I feel like that's kind of luxury vibes. Should I just put the toilet like right here? I feel like maybe that's fine. Just put the toilet right there. Um, oh, the curtain vines are from the, the plant kit and I never get to use them. So I thought like, oh, this is a perfect time to use them. 
<laughs> Thank you, Jen. I love you. But yeah, if you're new here uh, and you like the idea of this Let's Play and you're like, gosh, diddly dang darn it. I missed episode one. I want to see what this family is like from the beginning. Oh my God, bestie. I literally so got you. Um, it's all on my YouTube, so you can watch it there. <laughs> literally, I saved your life. You're welcome. You can thank me later. I get it. Um, you don't even have to worry about it. So you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Let's do toothbrush in here. I want this to feel like lived in. So that's why I'm giving them like some clutter items. Um, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Thank you. Oh, I, I should save my game. I don't think I've saved since I started streaming today. Could you imagine my game crashes and I lose everything? Oh my God. Save your games. Save your games right now, chat. Don't be like me. Um, the tiles in this pack are everything. I love them. I think they're really, really good. Um, we're going to do some skincare stuff for um, Petal because she looks like a goddess and there's got to be a reason for that. And it's because she's super into skincare. And then um, we'll do... Oh, yeah, our boyfriend's beard keeps growing. So I think it'd be kind of fun to have his little beard razor over here. I feel like that makes... A lot of sense story wise because he keeps getting a founding father beard and i'm like that is so not you take it off just take the beard off now um thank you for the follows by the way welcome in oh my gosh you guys are so sweet also i saw someone ask a couple minutes ago when the next episode of my 100 baby let's play is going to be uploaded and it actually is i uploaded it this morning so if you're waiting for the next episode, it's there. You just, you can go watch it whenever you want. You're welcome. You are so welcome. No, I like the brown. The best thing was iconic. I know, right? Episode two is so good. Thank you. Holy cannoli. Holy cannoli, you guys. Okay, I kind of want to do these lights for my bathroom lights. I'm like obsessed with those lights. I think they're really cool. Um, I feel like also since they're a young family, we might have some potty training stuff in the main bathroom up here just because like mom and dad need to help. So uh, a shelf in the shower, you know, that's a good idea. I think maybe we can do have this item here. This is a shower time caddy. I'm going to put this in here. And then I was thinking of maybe putting some of these like bath items kind of like on the edge of the tub here. Is that floating? That is floating. That's homophobic. I'm feeling personally attacked right there. You know what? Actually, I'm so smart. Hold on. Don't even don't even sweat it. Early pop. I got you. There we go. Now it won't be floating. It's kind of like hard to find a... Maybe I can like slide it in right there. I think that works. I like that. Absolutely genius. Thank you. I got you. I'm a cluttering queen. So if you ever need help I got a lot of tips and tricks for you. Um, I want to do a plant because our sim is super into plants. So I feel like a plant on the edge of the bathtub <laughs> is kind of her vibe. I don't know why. Oh, it actually like has slots for that. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, what device do I play on? I'm on PC right now. PC gamer. Shower plants for sure. That looks so nice. Yeah, I didn't know that tub had slots. Did you see that? The plant slotted. Okay. That was weird. 
Love the vibes. Thank you. I want to use this in here. Okay. Uh, I feel like we need some curtains, and then that's probably good. Do I just want to use the new curtains, maybe? No, we need bigger curtains than that. We definitely need something a little more covering. I don't want your filthy sinner bits. Oh my maybe gosh. those. What kind of bird is always getting hurt? The owl. <sighs> is that what you wanted? My sigh? <laughs> okay, I like that. I think that's really nice. Um... Hmm. I just want to fit another plant, like, right there, maybe. I think that this is a really nice bathroom. I like it a lot. Oh, a robe is a good idea. I wonder if I can get a little bathroom robe action going on. Also, some towels would be nice, too. Maybe some robes, like, right here. I can move the light switch to there. These are their bathroom robes. Uh, we got green and white. There we go. Oh my gosh, first time Prime sub from Jeremy. Thank you so much. Chat, you know what that means. Why did the cashier rip money in half? They were asked to break a bill. Can we get a smile with us? Enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing, but most importantly, enjoy your new smile. Disappointed, Brie. That's all. That's all I feel when I see your name in chat. Disappointment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, Bree's here. Uh, oh no, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Iconic? No, don't encourage them. Don't encourage Bree. No, no, no. I want to do, like, a, a towel moment. Is it weird to have your towels, like, right here in the shower? I feel like they'll get soaking wet. That is kind of weird, isn't it? But it's The Sims. So maybe I don't care. They'd get wet. They would. But it's The Sims. So maybe I maybe I like the, the clutter vibes. Well, I'll let you in on a secret chat. If you download this and you're like, I don't want the towels there, then you have my permission to remove the towels. I'll allow it. You're lucky. I think I'm going to keep them there. <laughs> All right. You want me to put a shower seat? What is a shower seat? Like a... Like that? Nice foldable chair. Like a stool. Oh. Do we have an item? I think we have an item like that from Snowy Escape. Do we not? This thingy. We can put this in there. I think that's kind of very vibey with what we have going on. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, okay. And then do I want to do another plant in the corner? Oh, I kind of do. I'm not going to lie. This plant would go good in that corner too. It's just such a good corner plant. It's too big. Um, I don't know. I don't know. No, I feel like maybe it'll get too crowded if I try to fit something else in there. It's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Button. Oh, hi, little Dika. How are you today? Dika Dikerson. Okay. I think that this is good for the bathroom. I'm happy with this. I think I like that. 
Hope you're good too. I'm doing great. I think we're done with the furnishing of the house. Um, it's almost 100,000 simoleons. Now we just have to do the outside. Oh boy. I don't know if... I guess I could do some kitchen clutter. I was going to say, I don't know if I have the spoons for that right now, but... If not now, when? I did do a little bit of clutter. I think I just wanted to add, like, maybe I need another cabinet here. Cabinets! They're building cabinets. I think I need, like... That? Yeah. There we go. An absolute masterpiece. Thank you. I am trying my best with this. Um, I feel like I want some of the wall clutter that I put in kitchens. Like, sometimes I like to put... Sometimes I like to put like spice on the wall. Some of these little spoonies. Like that. And then the knives. We love knives. I think that's pretty good. That might honestly be it for me. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I have a cough, you guys. I'm gonna put this in my son's room. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Outside time. Thank you for the follows, by the way. Welcome in. I haven't been giving Olivia her follow scritches, so here we go. A group scritch from everyone. Oh my gosh, hi, Leah. You have some news you're excited to share? Yeah, that's fine. Feel free to share some exciting news. All right. Now my hand is full of cat fur. You see that? This is why my nose is always itchy. I'm just gonna wipe it off. I'm actually self-sabotaging. Mm-mm-mm, yummy cat fur. It's all over me. It's because my hands get sweaty when I play The Sims. I'm like a sweaty gamer. Okay. I'm thinking I want to do a pool. But I don't know where I want the pool. Maybe like in this corner? I think that's pretty good. And then we could do like our little pathway to the back back area of the backyard like that. Um We also have this. You're exactly the same when you game, nice. Um thanks for the follows. Welcome in friends. Thank you. We also have to make the greenhouse look not like this, because it looks pretty bad right now. There we go. I'm a shivering Samantha, because I get so cold at the PC. Oh, shivering Samantha, I see. That's Aster's froggy chair, in case you were wondering. Uh... Oh, that's awesome, Leah. I'm really happy for you. That's really cool. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I always love hearing about um, community trials and triumphs and all that stuff. We stay winning. Okay, this is going to be a greenhouse chat room. So I figure we should probably make the walls glass. But what kind of glass? I kind of like the way this one looks. A 
a lot. The new windows? I used the new windows a lot already, so I think I want to use these. Should I just make the whole thing, like, glass? I don't know what greenhouses look like. Um. Hi, welcome on in! From Brazil. That's crazy! Far away. People from all over like Sims, and I love that. The Sims community is everywhere. I think that's kind of nice. I like the, the shadow that it casts. Um, also, my windows are glitched out. I've never seen those windows before. Oh, these are from the spa day. In case you're wondering. There we go. Um, I can actually, I think I can make the roof have white. No, I can make it, like, blue. I don't know if that really matters too much to me, though. I think I'll just do that. You're from Czech? Dang! From Michigan? Is this a greenhouse? Yeah, this is gonna be um, a greenhouse, because we need to have one for our daisy generation. So, I'm gonna make this into our greenhouse. I'm a pillar placer. Okay. Switzerland, UK, Norway, Netherlands, Canada. Dang. We're literally, how cool is that to think that like right now in this chat room, we have people from all around the world just hanging out. That's kind of cool just to like think about, you know? I'm from the United States of America. Same. So wild, honestly. Like, I could say, let's all clap our hands on the count of three, and then think of how many people from all over the world would be clapping at the same time. That's, like, really culty. I like that. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Incredible. So many Norways. That's cool. Now this is me being ignorant in an American. Does my does the way I talk sound weird to you guys? Cause obviously I have an American accent. Are you like dang, there's that American girl playing the Sims? Look at her go. You don't think so? No? Yes. Not weird, but definitely American. Okay, well. I feel like when I tell people I'm from Texas, they're like, are you for real? Because I don't sound like I'm from Texas. I don't know. I don't, I feel like I don't have a Southern draw. Like I don't sound like a cowboy. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> I would have not guessed Texas. Yeah, I think it's because my parents are from, um not texas they're from michigan so i didn't really grow up hearing too much of a southern accent i'm gonna put my cow plant like front and center by the way i think i think that's where my cow plant will live oh my gosh that's a first time sub chat you know what that means enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing but most importantly enjoy your smile we get a smile with us maybe i do want these to be like Matching the glass. Someone told me to do this and they were right. They were right. It was a little too white. Um. <laughs> it's cute. I like it. Okay. I think that's... I think... 
I think. That's nice. That's better. Y'all are going crazy today. What is happening? There are so many new faces in chat. This is really cool. Welcome in, everyone. I'm a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> also, Luis, thank you for gifting a sub to Bebby. What's it called when kittens get stuck in a tree? A catastrophe. A catastrophe? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Brie, thank you so much for the 100 bits. <laughs> I don't sound cowboying. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I wasn't born in Michigan. I was born in Texas. My parents are from Michigan, though. They moved to Texas before I was a twinkle in their eyes. Okay, so what else do I need? We have our bikes. I like the idea of the families, of the family riding their bikes a lot. I might put these up against the fence here. These are our dumpster bikes. Should I? I should get a dumpster. I really should. We should just have a dumpster again. I don't see why not. I can just put it here and we can like do some fence around it. Maybe this one's higher. Yeah. There we go. I think that's fine. Um, new bikes for the kiddos. Oh yeah, are there like kids bikes now? <gasps> oh my god. Ah, wait. Okay, we gotta get a bike for our son, Aster. That's so exciting. This one looks good. I feel like he would like the, uh... It looks like acid. Like frog stuff. He's probably really into that. We're gonna get a bike for Aster. He's gonna love it, you guys. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of terrain painting here to kind of like determine where I wanna place things. Um, Cause I wanna have like a little path that kind of comes up this way. But I don't necessarily know Something like that, maybe. And then, um, train painting is a process, by the way. Do you trust me? This is kind of like building our little road map. Do you trust me, chat? I do. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Too much. All right, now I need to go back over that with some more of this. There we go. I want it to look very muddy. Ah, there we go. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Scratch is for Olivia. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we can do landscaping in this area here. I might just turn this whole thing into like the path. I'm impressed with your terrain paint. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. I try my best. I don't know how this treehouse thing is going to look yet. So I think for now, I'm just going to have like the nub of the path. 
kind of going out here. Just the nub, though. Um, cause I, this is my first time building a tree house. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a new experience for me, personally. Okay, all right. Um, I want to add some trees really quick, cause these are gonna be important. And then after trees, we'll do foliage. Should I just go into debug for this pack? I probably should. Show hidden objects. We dot show live edit objects. Just so I can make sure I get the trees that they're using in the world around. All right, growing together. Oh my God. <gasps> Look at this Chungus Magoober. Oh my God, it's huge. Whoa. I'm gonna shrink that down by one. That's a big one. That's a big tree, you guys. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Leah. Honestly, practice makes perfect. People are always like, how do you build so well? Like, what's your secret? And it's literally, I do this every day over and over again. That's the only reason why I can do this. <laughs> um, so I feel like a lot of times people are just too afraid to make mistakes, but you have to allow yourself to make mistakes and learn in order to truly discover what works for you as a builder in this game. That's the way to go. Um, wish I got the train paint for grass of different worlds. Yeah, you know, that's always something that I wish we had to. Like, it'd be so nice to um, just be able to match the grass better. I 100% uh, feel that, feel that deeply. Um, so yeah, I want to do this tree maybe over here. These are big trees, like dang. Those are some chonkers. Oh, here's a really nice, like, massive oak tree. You think I should do this, like, maybe instead of this tree here, we have this tree like this. It's kind of like, kind of like hiding the backyard a little bit, but I really like that. I like that. I like the shape of this tree a lot. Maybe this tree can be over here. I have to find a way that it fits, though. Um, Katie! Thank you, and thank you for the 18 months. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it's been 18 months already. That is crazy to me. Thank you so much. Uh, also, thanks for the follows, friends. Welcome in. I think that works. Um, I would like... Maybe. Maybe like that? How does that look? It's kind of hard because these trees are all dead. <laughs> Whose idea was it to build in the autumn slash winter? Very silly, very dumb. Oh, you don't like the trees on the lot in the fall? No, that's that's fair. I could see that. I guess I don't mind them too much. What color are these flowers when they're not dead? <laughs> Does anyone know? Are they yellow? I'm trying to like look. Oh. Oh, look at these. Soft, wiggly, smooth. Dang, okay. Also have this tree here. Um... Can't wait till you're done with this build. Going to use it for my family? Okay, O slash. If you're ready to yoink my build for your family. Because I hope that you all have the most fun playing with uh with this house. Because I'm going to be playing with this house. So. I know. I don't know about you. But I will definitely. 
definitely be using this house for my family. Let's go. Yeah, if you're missing a couple packs, I apologize, but hopefully you are able to find adequate substitutes. Okay, well, these are dead. I don't know what color these flowers are, so I guess it'll be a fun little surprise for us when we are not in winter. I love happy little surprises like that. Um, how exciting. <laughs> oh, they're yellow. Okay, well, you know what? That works, because this is the, the daisy generation. So, honestly, it's quite on brand for us to have yellow flowers for the daisy generation so um okay i'm just doing little flowers at the base of the trees here and then let's do a couple more along our fence here also i apologize i do really like going super detailed when I'm like cluttering and stuff so um if this is boring I get it don't worry but I just I really something about landscaping brings me to my happy place so I'm just I'm in a good spot right now and I hope you understand I'm just I'm in a really really happy happy state of mind um wait oh my gosh jurassic clown thank you for the first time prime sub chat you know what that means enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing but most importantly enjoy your beautiful new smile commence the smiling uh and also thanks for the follow welcome in thank you i don't know what color these flowers are so we're gonna find out we are going to find out. I'm a little bit sad that I will be uploading this to the gallery while it looks like dead. Um, but you know, aren't we all a little dead on the inside? So if anything, I'm just staying true to myself. So. And we love that. We love someone who never wavers follows their inner truth <gasps> thanks for redeeming scritches for olivia you think they're orange or pink okay well that's cool if they're orange or pink i'm down i guess we'll see it'll be it'll be a fun little fun little surprise that's for sure okay do we know what color these are they look blue in the picture I don't know. Um, hmm. I guess we'll find out. You know what? I'm all about happy little explorations. It's fine. They're purple? <gasps> oh my god. You said the magic word. I love purple. Hee <laughs> hee. Hoo hoo. Purple. Very good. Very good. These are going to look so... It looks so sad and ugly right now. I'm... So, <laughs> I'm upset. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Scratch is for Olivia. Thank you. All right. Let's do these bushes over here. Uh, and then we have to decide. My sim is supposed to be super into yoga and wellness. So we need to find, like, a spot for our girly pop to do some yoga. You know what I mean? And it says in the little uh, Sims in Bloom prompt that they like doing it under their own fruit trees. But I don't really think we're going to have any fruit trees. So we might just have to, like, pretend that they're fruit trees. You know what I mean? I'm good at pretending, okay? So we can pretend. Um, maybe, like, we could do yoga stuff under this tree. This one's also really big, though, because we could put yoga mats under there. Hi! Hey. What's up? 
Mm -hmm. She deserves all the love. All the scritches. Okay. Well, that's pretty. All right. Okay. Ooh, fire hydrant. I don't need that. I don't know why. <laughs> I get excited when I see new items. Wait, these flowers are pretty too. They're like little yellow ones. These are really pretty. Okay. Um. Ooh. I guess I'm just looking at debug right now. Don't mind. Don't mind me. <laughs> Sorry. I need to stay on task. Okay. We'll put another tree right there. I think it's nice because you can still see the house. But it definitely looks very integrated into the to the landscaping, which I really like. Okay, are you slowly learning to love yellow? Absolutely not. I would never falter in my hate for yellow. You'll never see that happen. Not in this lifetime. Not in this lifetime. Uh oh, I'm not in debug anymore. I lost my place. I'm lost. There we go. Landscape? Escaping during fall. There's nothing better than that. I know, I'm having so much fun right now. Seeing all of the beautiful, vivid colors of all the plants I'm placing. It feels so rewarding. Having a great time. Okay. All right. What if you get reincarnated as someone who likes yellow? Well, if I'm reincarnated, that means I've done one thing in my life professionally and that would be dying. So I guess I would just do that again. Peace. There we go. Okay, I like it. Um, I think I'm gonna do, I think I like the idea of there being yoga mats under here. Yoga. So, let's find a mat that Petal would like. Probably either yellow or white. This one's kind of beige, I guess. That's probably good enough. Yoga under our favorite tree. Now we're gonna have a tree house over here and I like the idea of also having like a little bit of a uh, camping vibe going on. So I kind of want to get like a little fire pit out back here. I think that's really cute. Um, just putting a couple, couple little chairs around it maybe for the boys. A sandbox. I'll consider a sandbox. I'll think about it. I don't think I want the chairs to actually be around the fire though because I find that if you do that, uh, fires happen more frequently than not. So I think I'll like pretend they're around the fire, you know? Okay, and then let's get a couple of chairs for the adults. Um, there we go. We have plenty of chairs here for everyone to hang out at. Playground for the kiddos. Yeah, I think we're going to try to install a playground situation. Um, that's for sure. Okay. I think maybe like, should I do like playground stuff back here? Maybe like monkey bars? We got us. oh yeah, we got this new swing set. Or this isn't a new swing set. Where's the new swing set? 
this new swing set and monkey bars. This stupid app that takes pictures every time. Here we go. Um, how big is this lot? Oh, it's pretty massive. Like, um, I think it's a 50 by 40. Yeah, it's a 50 by 40. So we have so much space here. Maybe Petal actually does yoga under this tree since I'm putting the playground stuff over there. So she probably wants some peace and quiet away from the kiddos. Like they have so much space in this backyard to just run around and do stuff. I think that's really fun. Um, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Thank you. By the garbage. No, it's not going to smell like garbage. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, how many of you guys bought the pack and didn't get the premium stuff? Um, well, I didn't buy this. I was given the code by the creator network. But I have heard that people who purchased uh, the pack might be missing things. Is anyone else missing their early access or like early purchase items? I hope that they're finding a fix for that. Cause that's kind of annoying. Like what did the whole point of you buying it early was to get those items? You didn't get them, huh? I wonder if they're doing something about that. Hopefully. That sucks though. Hmm. There we go. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. Scritch is for Olivia. Hmm. Sparkling pool water. Get a little pool ladder. Get some pool floaties. A whale with a polka dot tail down by the bay. Bye, Mile. Thanks for hanging out. I got mine, but I had to email them to get a code for it. Oh, yeah. Maybe if you guys haven't already, try like sending in a support ticket or something. That's a good point. Oh, that looks scary. Why is the little box going up so high there? Okay, we have a little jumping area for them. Is there anything else that you all can think of that I might be missing for our uh, for our build here? Like anything off the top of your head? I feel like maybe I'll put the camera here. Maybe like some basic patio furniture. We have our telescope too. Just kind of cool. I'll put the telescope there, maybe. It looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Oh, I also forgot to put this romance bucket in the bedroom. Yep, we definitely need this. I'm going to try to put it on the floor. There we go. The happy campers tent thing. We could do that. That's true. I don't think I'm going to put a speaker out there. Oh, I could do some sprinklers. Oh, I can't do them inside. Oh, never mind. Well, goodbye to that. Let me put my three like happy fluids here too. And, uh, I guess I'll put this speaker out here. It's to ensure effective baby making. That's true. Okay, let's do patio furniture. Really quickly. 
Um, I agree with you guys. I think we need a grill. So I think I'm going to put this grill like right here. I feel like that is the perfect grill for this house. And then let's do someone mentioned a picnic table earlier and I really like the idea of a picnic table. Uh, maybe we can just put one like out here. But then I would also like to have just like a regular backyard table as well. So let's do that. Um, here's the chair I'm looking for. I give it five minutes of gameplay before the grill sets on fire. Okay, Courtney. Are you trying to curse my Sims? Is that what you're doing? I can't believe this. Got little loungers right here. Not clickbait. One of my mods is actively trying to curse my Sims live. Outdoor bar for the pool. Um, I don't know if I want to get a bar. I think it might be a cool addition down the line, but I think for right now, I, I don't know if I want to get a bar for the pool. Do I have a mailbox? Oh, I don't think I do. That's a good idea. Let's get our mailbox so it doesn't <laughs> appear in the, uh, what the heck? Mailbox. Doesn't appear in the, uh, house. Should I do a wall mailbox? I could just put one right there. There we go. I think that's nice. I'm obsessed with this house. Me too, bestie. Me too. I really like how it's turning out. I think that this is pretty good so far. I might add in another like couple of planter boxes just to have them. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't know. How much does the house cost right now? It's glitched. It says 84,000 simoleons, but I think it's actually a lot more than that. So we can look whenever I go out of build mode again. Um, I'm a little bit nervous for the bills. I won't lie. Is there anything else I'm missing in this house before we're, we're done with like setting it up? We have a trash can. We have a dumpster. I don't think we really have anything else thermostat oh we are missing a thermostat that is a good idea i'll put the thermostat there um solar panels to help out with the bills um i don't know if i i would like the way the solar panels look i think i'll just suffer i think i'll just suffer i think that's fine i love suffering Fire alarm. I personally don't like putting fire alarms because I think it's funny when my Sims house sets on fire. I'm a bad person though, so I definitely recommend adding fire alarms if you download this house. I'm a bad person, okay? What if I line the roof with this wood? What does that look like? Oh, I actually really hate that. I was just trying something fancy, but nope. Bad idea. Uh, also, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, like a watering can? Oh, God. Where is that? Watering. Can. No, not that one. Watering. What the heck did it bring me to debug for? I totally know what you're talking about. Maybe I can put a wheelbarrow out front just for fun. Oh God. I'm trying to think of where that clutter item is. 
Uh, also, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Thank you. This thingy. Here we go. Watering can. Bug spray. Yeah. Just a couple little little clutter items. I think that's pretty good. Frugal reward trait for bill discount. We could try to get that. I should also set the traits of this house. I think I want it to be um homey for gardening. Great soil for gardening. And then maybe study spot? I'm not turning on ley lines. Absolutely not. <laughs> I think, uh, oh, I also have to do simple living. That's right. Okay, I'm turning, I think maybe I'll upload it without simple living. And then I'll turn it on after I upload it. Oh my gosh, we have a Hobgoblin Redemption! No Valley, let me hob you right now. Going to Discord. Okay, 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 okay. Welcome to the Hobgoblins, Mahab. Very good. I've placed the poop on your head. You are now a Hobgoblin. <laughs> Very good. Okay, I think it's ready to be uploaded, you guys. Sadly, on the gallery, it's going to look dead like this, but if you all download it and you're in a different season, can you let me know how pretty it looks so I feel better about myself? <laughs> Please and thank you. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think let's upload it. We'll call this, uh, Sims in Bloom Home. Oh. Very nice. Okay, it is 142,000 simoleons. It has four, five bedrooms. One, two, three, four bathrooms, right? I believe it's only four bathrooms. Hi, Lucas. Welcome in. Did you put your founder up? Yeah, the whole family should be on the gallery. It is marking this as having custom content, by the way, um, because I have some custom content photos in it. Um, so if you want to find it, make sure you look for it with CC and then just the photos will be missing, which is probably fine. Um, okay. I'm going to say this is my, this, this home is for my Sims in Bloom founder, Petal and her family. It is a great house for any family, though. So enjoy. Hashtag Sims in Bloom. Hashtag Family Home. Hashtag Rochella. I think that's it, right? Can you show how to find her? Um, you have to look for Petal with custom content turned on because she has uh, lashes. And if you're on console, you actually can see the builds that I put because if you go to my profile on the gallery, it like, you know how it has like the little slideshow of recent uploads. So this one will show up there and you'll be able to see it even if you're on console. Um, can you explain what Sims and Bloom is? Yeah, it's a legacy challenge we're playing and the rules are linked in the chat right there if you would like to learn more about it, but it's based on flowers. So it's going to be fun. Okay, I'm uploading it. Uh, template already exists in my library. Overwrite. Okay, someone download this in summer and tell me it looks good. Otherwise, I'll cry. But I think with that being said, it's 4 a.m. Should we do some gameplay? Are you all ready for some gameplay? I might go to the bathroom really quick before we like officially hit the play button. Um, but this is really exciting, you guys. It looks like it gave my Sim all of her milestones, by the way. Had a baby, had a baby, got a job. That's exciting. Okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom really, really quick. Um, just before we do some gameplay today. 
Um, the house is beautiful. I'm so excited. It just took me three hours as you predicted. Look, I am so good at knowing how long it takes me to build things. So um, if y'all are enjoying the stream, don't forget to hit the follow button. Uh, and also go check out my YouTube as well. We actually just hit uh, 13,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you all so much for subscribing over there. It's free and it really helps the channel out. So check it out over there. I'm uploading this series over there as well. Um, but yeah, I'll be I'll be right back, you guys. Just I have to go pee really fast. So BRB. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Thanks for waiting, everyone. All right. Are we ready to play with our Sims family? Okay, it's like literally so late. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I don't think Forrest can walk up the stairs by himself. So I need to help him go to his bedroom. So I'm just going to teleport him up here. Teleport, go to bed. Uh, this is your bed. Assign bed to Aster. Go to bed. Um, we'll assign the right side of the bed. The pedal. Left side of the bed to Everett. And both of you need to go to bed as well. I'm sorry I made you all move in the middle of the night. That was really mean of me. They're all like, what's going on? Are we going to do a baby shower for Petal? You know, we totally could. How pregnant is she? Oh my gosh! Lauren, hey! Oh my god. I don't know how you do this every time you raid me, but it's literally like the most perfect timing I've ever seen anyone ever have. Because I literally just finished building my house and I just hit the play button. And we're just starting with some gameplay. Um... I don't know how you do it. Like, you're the most punctual person I know. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, though. Welcome on in, friends. My name is Shella, and we're playing The Sims in Bloom Legacy, um, which I believe you are probably familiar with from Lauren's streams. Um, and this is Generation 1. We're only four episodes in, so it's a great time to join the challenge over here. Um, this is my house. It's kind of dark. You can't see it on the outside too much. I'm sorry. Uh, but we just built this house, like literally instants ago. We just finished it and I'm sending everyone to bed because I made them move at 4 a.m. So I feel bad about that. But this build is on my gallery if you'd like to download it. So also thanks for the follows. Welcome on in uh, Eleonora, Mandy, Hannah and Katarina. Got some scratches for Olivia from you guys. Thank you. Um, what were y'all doing over in Lauren's stream today? Tell me all about it. Also, if you have to, like, go, please do not feel obligated to stay here. I understand. Um, I'm glad I can be punctual to your stream because I'm not to my own. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry about that. I went live early today, so. Um, am I going to take away the rest of their money? Yeah, I'm going to give them, like, uh, 5,000 simoleons, I think. Here's the deal, chat. We won the lottery in episode one, so I built this house with no budget uh but i feel like having too much money is boring so now i'm taking all their money away also i'm gonna turn auto lights on in my house so we don't waste electricity good night everyone enjoy your first sleep in the new family home so exciting omg i thought the lottery was a scam aster has a loose tooth he should expect to lose it soon wiggling the tooth and brushing his teeth can help speed up the process or Aster can bite the bullet and pull the tooth out. <gasps> oh my god, we have our first wiggly tooth, you guys. Go brush your teeth. That's exciting. Um, But yeah, how much did they win in the lottery? One million simoleons. Oh, I need to turn on simple living. You guys are so right. Let me do that really quick. I just turned it off so I could upload it. There we go. Thanks for ri reminding me. What's my Sims tag? Uh, it's Rochella. It's Rochella. Um, but yeah, I hope you had fun over in Lauren's stream. And if you all don't already follow my friend Lauren, make sure you do so. Loose tooth. Oh, he's going to be uncomfortable for 24 hours. Should I just have him pull his tooth out? Look, he's going to the playroom that I made for them. Oh my god. It's Friday, so you have school today, Aster. You can't play dolls right now. You need to go potty and get ready for get ready for school. 
Yeah, my speaker's broken. It's fine. It's out in the rain, so I'll have to go fix it. I used to leave that speaker by my cow plant, so... Um... Make sure the tooth midlets are gone before you age them up into a teen. Yeah, uh, chat told me that there was a glitch that made it so your sim would, like, change appearance and stuff like that. Uh-oh, my work starts in an hour. <gasps> Everett, we gotta wake up. Go, go, go get some food. Are you getting food too, little guy? You need to get some food too. Let's get some oatmeal. Um, also, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Scritch is for Olivia. Thank you so much. Are there budget restrictions with this challenge? Yes, there are. Um, but I won the lottery, so I built this house with no limits because I deleted all my food and then I was like, but I'm allowed to do this. So there's something spoiled in here and I can't tell what it is. Is it the cake? No. Oh, it's this meat. The meat is spoiled. I think that's what it was. I'm going to throw this in the dumpster for later. Also, why do you have a lounge chair in your inventory? What the heck? <laughs> okay. I hope you have a good day at school, buddy. Why are you not eating this? Oh my god. Your sim just aged up with that mood light? Oh, don't go into cast with them. I think that's how you avoid it, right? Um, is this how you carry your oatmeal? I have a question. Now, I don't actually eat oatmeal myself, but I need to know, chat. Is this how you carry your oatmeal when you have oatmeal? Am I missing out? Yes, that's how you carry your oatmeal? Of course. Huh. Well, you know, I'm learning something today. I did not know that's how you carry oatmeal. Wow. I do it every morning. It's my new bracelet. Oh my god. Okay, Everett's off to work. Um, Petal has work as well. When are you giving birth? Third trimester in 16 hours. So do you think we should try to hold a baby shower after work today? We don't really have any friends though. So like, who's gonna come over? We don't really know anybody. I literally only know my family. Forrest is still sleeping. He's in his little jungle bedroom. That's bad. Should I force people to be my friends? Because I don't know anybody. I feel like that's kind of sad. Um, Does Everett know someone? Oh, apparently Everett knows some guys. He knows Dylan, uh, Makoa, and Cole. Okay, I guess I can just do that. Maybe I can have her, like, make some friends. Socialize with co-workers today. I think that's a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Poppy! Thanks for the resub for three months. I really appreciate it. Baby showers are a part of the new pack. That's a good question. All right, Forrest is going to go off to daycare today. Everyone's leaving. Whoa, careful girl. Do not be tripping. I'm going to see if she can... I guess this doesn't let her meet anybody. Maybe it will, though. I don't know. I'll have her collaborate with colleagues all day. Uh, Everett's unsure of what to do at work. A new coworker has joined the team and Everett wants to introduce himself, but is scared of being awkward and making the wrong impression. Okay, we need to make a new friend, so maybe we should try this. Uh, what's their jobs? Oh, Everett is a conservationist and Daisy is like a botanist, I think. She's into like plants and stuff. Or sorry, petal. Not. I keep calling her Daisy. I don't know why. Uh, Simply Sunshine, thank you for gifting a sub, by the way. Thank you. Uh-oh, performance loss medium. Uh-oh, everyone seems to be talking about a birthday party that Aster wasn't invited to. He kind of thought the host was his friend, so it doesn't make any sense. Should he ask the friend or let it go? Ask the friend. Turns out the party wasn't even for Aster's friend. It was only a show on TV. Aster feels silly, but very glad he asked. That's awkward. 
Everett met Makoa and Dylan at work. Okay. Not bad. You're home from school, buddy? What did you make at school? Oh! <gasps> Drawn by Aster on his first day of school? Shut up. Is that new? He also stole dirty dishes, but... <laughs> that is so cute. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. He loves drawing. That's like his favorite. Okay, well, buddy, let's have you go grab some food. Go on. Grab some food. That is so exciting. Apparently, you can reminisce about it, too. What's his milestone? First day of school. <gasps> Yay! He wants to learn to ride a bike next. Yeah, he's a kleptomaniac, unfortunately. I don't know how that happened. Um, it was randomized, so... Good night. Thanks for hanging out with us. All right. So he's just home alone eating pancakes. Maybe after your pancakes, you can do your homework. Just so we're doing good. I like, I really want to host a baby shower, but I feel really bad that Petal doesn't actually know anybody. Why do I have a boat in my inventory? I have an entire boat. I'm going to sell that. I don't. I don't want it. I don't know why I have it. Oh, oh my god, you guys. We got a fish tank for our electric eel that we found in the dumpster. <gasps> oh my god. Did you see the electricity? Wait, he's so cool. I love him. Look at him. I don't think he has a name yet. We have to, we have to think about it. I don't know what we should call him. Um, also, thank you for the follows. Welcome in. Quirk revealed. Loves being carried. Forest loves being carried around. Oh, God. They're more likely to ask to be picked up when they haven't been carried in a while. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Are we going to go give Forest a bath, do we think? Oh, my gosh. What is happening? Sura, thank you for the Risa for six months. And Mile, thank you for the 100 bits as well. I do need to feed the cow plant. Yeah, I should probably feed him really quickly before I take care of my actual kid. Um, yeah. Forrest is very sad. Yeah, he's not doing very well. Petal's home too. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know if we can afford to do a baby shower right now. And I know that sounds bad. But I'm almost like, I don't know if we can do it. <laughs> we have so many things going on in our life. I'm overwhelmed. Where are you taking those? This house looks so cute. <gasps> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I'm literally obsessed with this house. This thanks for the resub as well. Oh my gosh, thanks for the hype trade, you guys. Brittany with the bits. Thank you. Ugh. Okay, I am going to repair this because it's bothering me. And then I need to go give my son a bath. Forrest is stanky. Let's give Forrest a bubble bath. Come on, Forrest. How do we get baby showers? Uh, it comes in the growing together pack. <laughs> it's pretty bits. Uh-oh, strict family dynamic. When it comes to Petal and Forest, a sense of order seems to abound as the younger Sim has a deep respect for their older family member, often meeting this older Sim's high expectations. For family members with a strict family dynamic, the older Sim will ask the younger Sim to do things like cleaning more, and the younger Sim will generally avoid rebelling, though might get stressed overall. Okay, Forest is getting the middle child treatment. Because there's a new baby on the way. And we're about to be like, can you help out around the house more? You're literally like two years old, but we need you, we need you to pick up the pace. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. I'm going to do that. We're going to be strict with Forrest. I feel bad for Forrest. He's like two years old. Here we go. Let's give him a bath. Okay, Aster finished his homework, which is really exciting. Um... Would you like to make a friendship bracelet? Oh. 
Let's do a rainbow one. No, you can't? What about now? I just had to slot it. Why won't it let him? What am I doing wrong, chat? He like picks it up and then he doesn't do it. What am I doing wrong? Do I need something else? Can do them at the creative table too. Oh. Do I need to put it in my inventory? Oh, he needs space on the desk. Oh. <sighs> Thank you, Bree. Thank you for that. Okay. Yeah, I guess his desk doesn't have any space on it. That's my bad. I might have to delete an item there. I didn't really leave enough space for him. Okay, Everett's working on that. Everett, when you're done working on that, can you get started on some dinner? We really need to make some food for the family tonight. We can... Oh, just one corn dog? No, we need more than one thing, buddy. Buddy bucko, we need you to make food for the family. Let's do a meat pie. I love that they can swap them too. I haven't played with them yet, so I'm excited to see... Do you have your friendship bracelet? <gasps> Exchange friendship bracelets. Oh, Everett needs to make one. I see. Does that mean like if I make a friend, do they have to have one for me to swap it? Also, can he like wear it? How do, how do I make him wear it? Dad's over here fixing the speaker the whole time. I had sisters both make one and they can't exchange them. Oh, that's weird. That is weird. Only if they're in your household. Okay. Can you wear it though? I want him to wear it. You can wear it if the other person has it. Okay. Well then, I suppose I need Everett to make a friendship bracelet then. At some point, or maybe pedal. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay, you've been in the bath for like 10 decades. What is going on over here? Are you done? There we go. Oh my god, that took you forever. Hi, Sunkissed. How are you? Hello, hello. Okay, I'm gonna do something very nice. I'm gonna give my toddler food without making him go all the way downstairs. I'm such a nice person. You have to be good friends to exchange. Oh, that's probably why he can't exchange it with Petal then. Because I don't think... It's so weird. He's not good friends with his own mom. Which is interesting. Hi, welcome on in, Leah. Maybe we can wait for Forrest to age up. Yeah, we can wait for Forrest to age up and then we can give him a friendship bracelet. Loves being carried, but he's independent. Forrest went to daycare for the first time. That's fun. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have you... Oh, he's a picky eater. Cool. Tight. Particular about his food. Okay, I can't get mad at him though, because I'm also a picky eater. So like, I get it. I understand. It's relatable. <laughs> How long is it taking us to repair this? Holy cannoli. You've been doing this all freaking night, dude. I see the little bar and it's only like halfway full. <laughs> oh my gosh. How can I find the house on the gallery? Uh, my gallery ID is Rochella and it should be there, but it's tagged with having custom content in it. So you might have to search with custom content on. All right, Petal's going to the bathroom. And then Petal's like super exhausted. So I'm going to have Petal like go take care of the gardening stuff and then go to bed because she's like so tired it's because she's pregnant we're going into our third trimester in two hours though so that means we'll have a baby on saturday tomorrow that's exciting all right forest my dude it's time for you to go to bed uh, go to sleep. Aster, bedtime for you too, bucko. We're still fixing this speaker. It reset it again. 
Okay, no. That is so ridiculously dumb. I don't know what's happening with that speaker, but he's been trying to fix it for like four freaking hours. And it's just not fixing it. Pretty house, thank you. I just built this house and uh, it's on the gallery. I'm deleting that speaker. That is a cursed speaker chat. I recommend deleting it. Um, <laughs> You had to reset the speaker. Yeah, I wonder if that's what it is. How are pedal skills? Um, They're pretty good. We're gardening level seven right now. So yeah. Oh yeah, we'll take name suggestions whenever the baby's born. So if you have any good name suggestions, make sure to save them up. Thanks! Yeah, I like their little playroom too. It'll be a good multi-purpose room whenever everyone gets a little older. Um, it won't pop up on the gallery for me because I'm on console. Uh, I mentioned this earlier, but you'll still be able to see it when you go to my gallery profile and it does the little like recent build slideshow and it should pop up there. So if you're on console, you should still be able to grab it. Hopefully. Um, so yeah. Am I playing a legacy? Yeah, I'm playing the Sims in Bloom legacy. Let's use our new bathtub. We'll take a bath. This is this is our like I'm sorry, did you not finish? No, never mind. Keep making the French toast. Everett, I can't count on you for anything. Why are you not doing what I'm asking you to do? Oh my god. This is so annoying. Also, thanks for the follows. Welcome in, friends. Olivia wants to tell you all thank you. Because she gets scritches for every follow. There we go. Okay, now I can use the bathtub. We got cooking level nine. Okay. Everyone else is in bed, so it's just you, my dude. This is a nice bathroom. Dang, who made it? Oh, wait, I did. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> yeah, we do have a kitty cam. Did you tell them? Did you tell the chatters what you wanted to tell them? Did you tell them? <laughs> yeah. I think they appreciated that. She said she loves you. Also, Ingrid, thank you for scritches for Olivia. And thanks for the follow. Welcome in. More scritches. She said thanks for scritches. That's what she said. I speak cat. All right, let's go to sleep. This is our last night of sleep before the baby, I think. So we better enjoy it while we can. More scritches. Thank you, Moonbell. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. How old is she? She's seven. She's just a baby. Okay, we are not doing well. We have to go potty so bad. Petal is so pregnant. Like, she's ready to have this baby any second now. Probably later tomorrow, though. All right, let's go back to bed. No paparazzi, please. <laughs> yeah, she often turns her back to us. All right, it's the weekend, Aster. So we are going to try to find some friends for you, I think. Aster lost his tooth. Uh, can't He can't wait a while for a new tooth to appear or can elect to fix missing tooth. Wait, does it show up that he's missing a tooth? <gasps> no way. That's so freaking cute. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> he just lost his first tooth. How stinking cute. Okay, well, there we go. All right, clean up after yourself, and then I'm going to make a little club for him. And uh, we're going to make it like cool kids. And they're just going to be children.
Okay. Let's see who we can invite. Oh, there's that new kid, Atlas. We have Atlas. Um, Evie Delgado. Carmen. Maybe Ronaldo and Nani. There we go. We can make them all come over to our house today. That's fun. Carmen's also a new townie. Oh, well, that's perfect then. Oh, I got you, Maurice. Thanks for reminding me. Should we uh, invite everyone over? I guess it kind of sucks that it's fall because I was thinking like, oh, they could have like a pool party or something cool, but it's literally the fall. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they'll still have fun outside. Everett, you have work really soon, my dude. I want I wanted Everett to be able to help with the treehouse, but adult supervision. Is Daisy off work today? Or sorry, is Petal off work today? Yeah, she's off work. So I guess she could like supervise the um if we wanted to, you know. Uh thanks for the follow. Welcome on in, friends. Welcome. Oh my gosh, the lead male character's name is Atlas. No way. Coincidences. Oh, we're super flirty. It's because of our uh, little bucket. Um, Build a splash pad? Oh yeah, I probably will in the future. I don't want to right now, though. Petal is too pregnant for a treehouse. Oh, do you think she won't be able to to help uh, supervise the treehouse because she's almost having a baby. You might be right. Well, I think I'm still going to invite everyone over. And I think I'm going to have us all go swimming. <laughs> Even though it's a dark, cloudy, slightly chilly day. I think maybe I, I think maybe um, Aster is just really excited to have a pool. Look at how confident he is. This is our little guy. There's his new best friend, Atlas. Hi, Atlas. Nice to meet you. Perfect weather for a swim. Exactly. Now, we could get a little heater if they get too cold. This is a decent sized pool as well. Like, oh my gosh. Jump for group. Can you do a backflip? I would be really impressed if you did a backflip, to be honest. Sounds like a kid's idea. Go swimming in the freezing cold. I know, right? I used to do that when I was younger. If there was a pool, I would want to go in it even if it was too cold. Um. Bye. See you later. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, there's Nani. Hi, Nani. Check this out. I'm going to do a sick backflip. <gasps> Quirk revealed Forrest loves books. Oh, wait, that's so cute. Here I go. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, he totally flopped that. <laughs> he totally flopped that. Yeah, Forrester's our little, our little nerd. Come on, everyone. Let's go swimming. Okay, he's on his Wabbit tablet, but he's getting hungry, so I might pull some food up here for him. All right, minced pork noodles it is. Can you grab a bite to eat, my dude? I felt that. I know. I remember my first time doing a belly flop. Oh my god. It hurts so bad. They don't warn you for how bad it hurts. Oh, you have two Wabbit tablets. I didn't realize that. Well, okay. After you eat, you can go potty. Because you're independent. Try to make a new friend. Oh. I had another performance loss. Well. My performance is really bad. I might get demoted. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, really, Nico? That's crazy. That's crazy. Alright, good morning, Petal. Um, I'm going to work on our yoga a little bit. Let's do a greeting pose. Maybe this can help us because we're super, super pregnant. 
It might help us feel a little bit better. Uh, hello? Why is there a grandma at my house? Oh, it's the welcome wagon? Okay, I suppose I'll let you in. And then I'm going to feed my cow plant. So maybe I won't do yoga. <laughs> what career is Petal's other half? Um, Petal's other half is a conservationist. So. Yeah, don't worry. I see the cow plant, you guys. Hey, bro, it's me, your boy, Kyle. Listen, I'm coming over to your place to chill for a few days, just like old times. Doesn't that sound sick? Wait, what? You don't remember me? Haha, <laughs> dude, you're so funny. Seriously, never change. Hope you have some juice ready. It's going to be lit. Oh, my God. Chat, is this the infamous Kyle Kyleson? Should I let him over? 23 months, almost two years. Oh my gosh, almost two years. Thank you, Black Rose. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm inviting over Kyle. He'll be here for the birth of my child. We have a guest room that Kyle can stay in. So, you know, there's that. Oh my God, here he comes. Also, the welcome wagon's here. Welcome in, everyone. I'm just going to feed my cow plant really quick because it is a murderous beast. Oh, yeah, just leave your stuff wherever, I guess, Kyle. I'll take it to your room for you. <laughs> there we go. Can I, like, assign this bed to Kyle? I can! Oh, my God, that's so exciting! Ah! No! Oh my god. I cannot believe this. I literally just went to feed my cow plant. We have to get another one like immediately. I'm not even joking. That's a part of the rules. Well. Okay. Oh my god. I'm so sad. Should I try this fruitcake though? I'm curious to see if my sim likes fruitcake. Let's try it really quick. <sighs> Mushu died. There is so much happening at my house. I don't even know what's going on. There are too many Sims active here. We got Eleanor. We got this person. How do you say this name? Zo Zochitl? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'll have to look that up later. She does not like fruitcake. Okay. I'm so sad. I'm gonna try this fruitcake though. Yeah. <laughs> Sochi? Sochi till? Is that how you say it? Sochi? Okay, well, goodbye. Thanks for coming over. I have to go get a cow plant. So chill. Okay. Good to know. I know where to go for a cow plant. Um, I'm gonna leave the boys home with Kyle. Because I feel like Kyle will take great care of them. A rip cow plant. Oh, no. Okay, hello. Also, I gave uh, Petal one of the... A couple new outfits, by the way. Okay, this is a good thumbnail pose. Work it, girl. She knows, she knows what she's doing. This is great for the thumbnail. Work your angles. You got it. <laughs> she looks upset. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get a new cow plant. Nobody panic. It's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna go fishing here. How long do I think I'll stream for today? Oh, for a little while longer. I can title this episode My Cow Plant Died. <laughs> yeah, not clickbait, because it's for real. My cow plant did die. All right. Well, she actually really likes fishing, and we need to get our fishing skill up anyways, so this is fine. Yeah, this is the perfect place to get a cow plant. Sturgeon, not bad. A death in the family. Oh my god, yeah, I can... 
I can say that. Like, a, a death in the family, trigger warning, emotional. I can't believe they died. And keep it really vague. That's good. You guys are great at clickbait. Oh, a rainbow fish. Nice. My firstborn dies. Because technically I had the cow plant before I had my baby. No, you're weak. Let's go use that bathroom really quick. It's not clickbait. It's not. It's real. Okay, I really, I gotta catch a cow plant berry, you guys. I can't go home until I have a cow plant berry. <laughs> uh. My child died, so I had another one. Thanks for the follows, by the way. Welcome in. We're dealing with uh, an emotional family loss right now. I'm sure you can understand. Got a bone fish. <laughs> what? My boyfriend and the father of my three children, including the unborn one, is calling me to tell me right before I give birth that he has a crush on someone else? Well, I know one thing is for certain. My new cow plant is certainly not going to go hungry. Oh, and look at that. I got a cow plant berry. Let's go home, Petal. And it just so happens that Kyle Kyleson's staying at my house, so... Just saying. Like, Kyle's there. I'm so upset right now. Like, I cannot believe this is happening to me. Plant that cow plant berry. Where are you? Stupid man. In the swimming pool. I'm watching you. I can't believe this. We were gonna get married! We were! <sighs> Literally, I just built us a house. And he goes and does that. I just built us a house. Like, you're joking me. Hi, Queens. <laughs> Hi, Hale. Thank you for the 35 months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Well, I'm upset at this moment. Go get us some money. Where is Kyle? Oh, Kyle's in my office. Hi, Kyle. I don't even know what Kyle's traits are. Does anyone know? I'm going to go get to know him a little bit. I'm going to invite him to feel my child. Kyle is fab with kids. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've also heard that he's really good at knitting. Oh my god. Would you like to feel my baby, Kyle? He's lazy, clumsy, and a genius. That's really beautiful. Give Kyle a makeover? We could, maybe. I'm gonna ask him if he's single. Straight up. Are you single, Kyle? I'm just curious. That's all. That's all I want to know. Are you seeing anyone? Oh, no, that's lovely. Do you want to come swing with me? 
<laughs> oh my god this is too much you guys <gasps> i got a tooth fairy certificate wait when did i get this oh this is an exciting day for me can i put this somewhere <gasps> oh my god what if i display this like on my wall like this i'm so proud that's so freaking cute are you checking on your brother oh you are my favorite hug lovingly swinging with kyle kyleson not clickbait put the tooth under his pillow oh is that something i can do place tooth under pillow and sleep <gasps> Ooh, that's fun. Oh, hi, Everett. Interesting. I'm just swinging in the backyard with Kyle Kyleson. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what we're gonna do about that whole situation, but I don't have time to focus on Everett right now. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. We have a baby on the way. So we got to stay unbothered and peaceful for the sake of the baby right now. But don't think I've forgotten because I certainly have not forgotten. He was such a good father too. Why did he Why did he have to go do that? The dumpster's full? Oh, I can make him dumpster dive. Thanks, Everett. Thank you in advance. You can have him get over the crush. I don't even know if I care if he gets over the crush or not. I feel betrayed. Stepdaddy Kyle will be just as good. <laughs> I'm so sad about Mushu. Oh my god. What should we name? I'll name this one uh, Mufasa. Except like Mufasa. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. Got some scritches for Olivia. Are you tired, little buddy? You can go to sleep. You don't have to keep playing on your iPad. Poor guy. He's just he's just cranky. He just needs some sleep. The dumpster's where he belongs. Yeah, right now. Who does he have the crush on? Does it show? It doesn't. I don't think so. That's unfortunate. My boyfriend cheated, so I married Kyle Kyleson. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see what's in our cards. Oh, we got a Schmapple coffee maker. That's good. Kyle, are you going to go to sleep, by the way? Like, it's getting late, my dude. Someone named Leslie. Leslie Holland. Okay, well, if we ever find Leslie out in the wild, it's on site. Vlad asked to move in with my sim and then died trying to fix the fridge. Oh my god. That's tragic. You like a champion. <gasps> Kyle! Did you hear that Forrest likes reading books so you went into Forrest's bedroom to read him a bedtime story? <sighs> That's really nice of Kyle. That's really nice. Leslie Holland is a possessed sim in Strangerville. So you're telling me my man wants to cheat on me with a possessed sim in Strangerville? Interesting. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. That's low. I can't believe that. You can't shower in our bathroom tonight. You have to shower in the downstairs bathroom. I'm sorry. And honestly, if Kyle wasn't here, I would make you sleep in the guest room tonight. <gasps> I'm in labor! Oh my god, pedals in labor, you guys. It's happening! New boo! This is a good thumbnail, too. Baby time! Okay, I'm gonna do just a fun little poll to see if anyone can guess the sex of the baby. Just for funsies. Boy, girl, or multiple. I swear, if it's multiple, I might have to end everything. 
All right, feel free to vote. All right, we have our little bassinet here too, so I'm gonna have the baby. Here we go. Thanks for the follow, welcome in. I'm really manifesting a girl. Like, that's what I want. I'll pause it really quick so we can, um... Oh, that's another good thumbnail picture. You're doing a really good job, like, posing, Petal. She is not <laughs> having it. Manifesting three... You guys want me to have triplets? Do you... Th no, I think I would delete babies if I had triplets, because I did not build this house for triplets. Okay, it looks like 53% of chat so far is voting for a girl. 15% of chat thinks it's a boy, and 32% thinks it's multiple? Please, only one. Please. I'll be so upset. I really want a girl. Fingers crossed. Oh, it is a girl! Oh my god! Oh, this is exciting, you guys. It's our first baby girl. Honestly, since the update, this is the first girl I've had. I've only had boys so far, so I'm excited. Um... The way we're doing names for this legacy is um, I want them to be like flower or plant themed and you all can just type names in the chat and I, I will pick like three or four and then I'll put them in a poll and we'll have chat vote on what they want the baby to be named. So, um, ooh, okay. I see daffodil. Okay. Daffodil is a good one um lily i really like lily as well okay daffodil lily sage uh and tulip okay those ones are good those are good okay let's make another poll daffodil lily sage tulip um if your name wasn't chosen, that's okay. We're going to have like 10 generations. So uh, here we go. Start the poll. Vote on what you'd like this girl to be named. This is interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, so far, Sage has taken the lead, but we'll see what happens. Lily could make a comeback at this point. Um, I don't know though. I honestly, I think most people are voting. Almost half of the chat is voting for Sage, so we'll see. Sage is pretty. Yeah, I like it. I like all these names. I think they're all really good. Um, thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. Um, very good. Boris, Aster, and Sage. Yeah, I like those names. Okay, 47% of chat has voted Sage. I don't think there's any chance for a comeback. So here we go. Sage Bloom. Is it twins? Oh my god. Oh, thank god, thank god. I did not make this house capable for twins. Oh my god. I'm so happy right now. That could have been very bad for us. Okay, that's the last baby I think I want Daisy or Petal to have, so. Hi, cutie! <laughs> Kiss Sage's forehead. And also, we should probably uh, feed her. I'm so excited, you guys! Will I change Sage's onesie? Um, oh, I didn't know I could do this. I'm going to put her in the fish onesie. <laughs> I didn't know you could change the onesie. That's fun. Is that new? Am I feeling better? I am. I am feeling a lot better. Okay, he's sleeping out in the pool. Good. He's not even supporting me through the birth of our daughter. Can you believe that? He went to sleep while I was in labor. Interesting. <gasps> look at the little, look at the little fish. Are you kidding me? 
Oh my god. If I ever have a kid, I'm gonna get them like fish pajamas. That's a goal for me. That's so freaking cute. Oh, you're awake now. Interesting. Why don't you go back to sleep? He's just spending the night in the pool floaty. I can't believe this. Was Kyle awake at least? It does look like Kyle is awake right now. He's eating some uh, fruit cake. Petal's up as well. Petal, why are you awake? Oh no, did Kyle leave his trash? Kyle? If you're staying here, you need to clean up after yourself. That is so rude. I can't believe this. Is there a lobster on the baby pajamas? No, that's a crab. That's not a lobster. Don't worry. Where are you taking this? He left one out here too? Kyle! You need to ask Kyle to help out. He'll start cleaning them then. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to go talk to Kyle really quick. Because that's crazy. Oh my god! Ronnie! Whoa! <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting eight subs! That is so sweet of you! Can we get some love and hype in the chat, you guys? Thank you so much. Ask Kyle to help out. There we go. Yeah, at least Everett cleans up after himself. That's true. Thank you, Ronnie. I really appreciate it. We're honestly getting close to the next subtile, you guys. I don't even know how that's possible. That is crazy. We've had a lot of really generous sub gifters today. Oh my gosh, I got 55 simoleons for my tooth. Yes. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, let's go to the bathroom and take a shower. Kyle, can you please help out? Let's go! Tooth fairy money! Oh, there's a diaper on the floor here. Whoops. Let's put that in the dumpster. I need to go back to sleep, to be honest with you. So... Nicole, thanks for the resub for three months. Thank you. All right. You're going to be useless today if you don't get any sleep. So I'm going to need you to come sleep as well. Aster, do you want to meet your new sibling? You can entertain them. You're a big brother again. How does that feel? Maybe we should get some outdoor lights. You know, I think I forgot to add outdoor lights, so we probably should. Kind of dark out there, isn't it? Aster's up super early. Oh, he's so cute. Everyone isn't assigned to the bed as it should be. <laughs> also, he's like out here in winter time. I cannot believe this right now. He's literally just chilling out there. He hasn't even met our daughter yet. Also, is it Sage's birthday today? Oh my god. It is. Because we um had her at like 11 p.m. So technically, we can age Sage up into an infant right now if we wanted to. Do you think we should? Also, Kyle's just helping himself to my food. I can't believe this. There's so much drama in this household. Okay, Mufasa's doing great. Maybe after work today? Um, we don't actually have work today. So it might be a good day to age sage up for us oh we're so excited oh wait didn't we get <gasps> we did we got the uh the infant handprints from sage that's so cute what's wrong baby let's maybe she's probably hungry whoops um thanks for the follow welcome in 
could try to revive the cow plant, but they would say a skeleton. That'd be cool if that was possible. Kyle, will you pick up this diaper? No? Is he just getting down? Kyle, I asked you to help out around the house. You're not... Not really doing that. <laughs> All he does is dance. Yeah. For real. He's he's a bro, so I think that's what he's supposed to do, right? Aster's like, hey, Uncle Kyle, what's up? Can Uncle Kyle help us with the treehouse? No, we need adult supervision. All right. You need to get up now. Because we're going to build a treehouse with your son today. It's your day off. Can Everett dance like that, though? You know, I don't think he can. I don't think he has a good dancing ability. Uncle Kyle doesn't ever stop dancing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, oh my god, he's coming inside to kiss us? Or no, we want to kiss him, but he's not gonna kiss us. He's going to bed. I see. Interesting. <laughs> Heartbreaking. Hi, Kyle. Why are you going into my bedroom? I feel like I should lock this for everyone except my household. I don't want, like, guests going into my master bedroom. That feels a little weird. He's just reading in Forrest's bedroom again. Anyways, this is getting personal flirt with Kyle. I don't want to. Not yet. I feel like Petal is a really nice sim. I don't know. I feel like Petal would feel really guilty doing that. Let's make some winter crafts, though. He's level 5 creativity. That's crazy. Plot twist, Kyle and Everett get together. Can you imagine... An innocent little flirt? No, not yet. Not yet. I'm going to set a curfew for 9 p.m. Because, um... Petal got, like, this strict relationship. So I think that kind of makes sense. Oh my god, was someone playing a game here? Wow, wait, that's fun! <laughs> Your cat wanted to send that message. Well, thank you. Thank you, cat. For your chat. I want him to help build the treehouse. That's what I want Everett to do today. Wait, Uncle Kyle grabbed Forrest? Where, what are you doing with Forrest? Uncle Kyle. Oh, are you going to feed him? <gasps> Batu popcorn, Uncle Kyle? Are you sure about that? Oh my god. <laughs> Not the Batu outpost popcorn for my toddler. You know, he actually looks really excited about it. And he's a picky eater, so... All right. Well, there's that. Uncle Kyle likes to dance, so he's dancing now. The dad who stepped up. Yeah, at least our toddler's getting fed. I guess I should be grateful. Okay, I'm going to age up um, Sage now. So get excited. Which infant trait do you think Sage is going to get? They grow up so fast. Hobble Borbna Sage. I like that they take a picture. Intense? Oh my god, I really hope I don't get intense. The only infant traits that I've played with so far are calm and wiggly. So I'm kind of hoping I don't get intense because I'm afraid of intense. Did I just speak Simlish? I did. I did. Okay, here we go. Ah! Oh! No. 
No. Oh, chat, what did you just do to me? Oh my God, you cannot be serious. First smile milestone. <sighs> I did not manifest it. I did not want intense. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh my god! She got a uh, petals eye color. That's so fun. She does look a lot like her father, I will say. She looks like Dada. Um... I want to do this hair. I think that this hair is so freaking cute. Well, I want to I want to do this hair for her. Also, her brows are like sculpted. Um, I don't think she has any birthmarks or anything. I honestly don't think anyone in my family has birthmarks. Not that I can see. Doesn't look like it. OK. Um, thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. Show teeth. You want to listen to the infant hissing? Are you sure about that? Sounds like a Minecraft zombie. Anyways, you're welcome. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I like the little shirt you're wearing, honestly. It's really cute. I just want to change your pants, maybe. Oh, actually, the blue with the little pink ribbons is adorable. That's fine. You like the bottom teefies? Oh my god, she looks really spiffy in this little suit. But her nursery is cloud themed. Wait, what if she wore the cloud the cloud dress? <coughs> Excuse me. What if she wore the cloud dress as her everyday outfit? Because her nursery is uh, cloud themed. I think that's actually really cute. I want to do that. Um, also, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Sorry, I still have a little bit of my, um, my cough. <laughs> Got a little bear outfit. Um, is there pink clouds? I don't think there, oh, there is pink clouds. I like the one that I chose, though. Oh, the little bumblebee is so stinking cute. You're kidding me. Um. Okay, you can wear socks. Bye, Bebby. Thanks for hanging out. See you later. This is adorable. Like, you're joking me. I love dressing up my infants. Cloud shoes. Okay, and then... I think we'll do, like, the sweater. A little star sweater. You love strawberries? I like strawberries, too. I think they're pretty good. Okay. Sick. I want to give her like a hat for the winter time though. She looks adorable. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in, by the way. Okay. Um, I'm obsessed with Sage, even though she's a little intense baby. I think she's so stinking cute. Uh, I'm going to upload this version of the family to the gallery. Um, I've been uploading them little by little, but um, I'll upload this version too, just in case you all would like to download with a uh, little infant Sage. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh my god, look at how cute they are! That's adorable. I want to get like a good photo. Oh, I think that's a good one. I love this family so much, you guys. I'm so attached to them. Um, like this white outfit on the blonde. Thanks. I love your hair so much. It's a pretty color. Oh, thank you. What the heck? That's so nice. Also, thanks for the follow. Welcome in, friend. Okay, the first time he held her was in Cass. I'm dead. <laughs> You're right. He hasn't even acknowledged her existence yet. Um, how in the world did Forrest end up blonde? I don't know. I mean, uh, Petal has blonde hair, so I guess just genetic chance. Milestones. There we go. Okay. Um, you're on the ground. Probably not the best idea. Let's uh, pick up Sage and I want to put her down here. Oh, I can't. Why can't I do that? I guess I probably need tummy time. Also, Forrest is trapped in the high chair now because of Kyle Kyleson. So I'm going to wake you up because you're not having a good time. At all. We're going to do some tummy time with Sage here. Whoa. What was that? Are you doing tummy time? What is happening? Hello? What was that? Why won't it let me do tummy time now? Maybe I have to have her in my arms? Oh, there. Now it worked. I don't know what's happening. Um... Also, I feel like Forrest probably wants to get out of here. <laughs> and Kyle's just like, you're trapped forever, baby. Okay, there we go. Tummy time. Let me turn the music down a little. Here we go. Oh my god, she looks like a murderer. You only got it to work on the playmat? That's so weird. It wouldn't let me um take her to the playmat. Does she like tummy time, do you think? Oh no, she does not like tummy time. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, no kid likes tummy time, I think. I feel like sometimes they do. Oh, put Sage there, there we go. Now it's letting me. Look, you gotta learn how to lift up your head. You're gonna be so brave. You got this, little sage. But if you're just uh, if you're just joining us, I gave her a cloud dress because um, her bedroom, the nursery, is cloud themed. So look at how freaking cute that is. She's our little cloud, our little baby. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Okay, get your son out of here. Let out, and then let's give him a bath. And then I want you to go build a treehouse with Aster later today, so. Hi, baby! Tummy time! You can do it, Sage! My friend's sister hated tummy time. I wonder if I liked it. Oh my god! What's with both of the parents being strict with Forrest just because they're giving him a bath? Sure. I guess. Poor Forrest. I think it's a glitch. Oh, is it a glitch? Does that always happen? Day Ninja, thank you for gifting a sub. That's so sweet of you. Froggy Matt. Froggy Matt. Oh, wait. I think she's liking it this time. Look. She's having a great time. Oh, I didn't know it was a glitch. Thanks for telling me. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, she is not. She is not having it. <laughs> She's in fact having a terrible time. Can you go play with Sage, Aster? All right, I'm going to go do some gardening stuff for the day. Sell all of this, and I think that's all I have. Here we go. Look at him! Oh my god, Aster, you're such a good big brother, playing with your little sister. Yellow. Why are you thinking about yellow? Check cow plant? Um, it's still just a little baby. Have my plants glitched being inside yet? No, not yet. I hopefully they won't. Why was Sage's first thought about yellow? Sentiment gained? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. What's the sentiment you got? Closer from happy memories. Oh, that's so freaking cute. Can you entertain her for a bit? We're all busy. I'm giving Forrest a bubble bath because he smells really bad. Have I tried upgrading the toddler's bed? I have not. What can you do to the toddler's bed? Um, it just tells me to convert it back to a crib, which I don't really want to do. I know that I can attach a mobile to this. But I don't know when I'm going to have time to do that. I guess I could go right now and do that. I'm going to add a bird. Baby mobile. And then I want to build a treehouse with Aster. Come on. Let's go. I'm sorry. Did you like... Oh, chat, that explains it all. Everett likes fruitcake. That's why he is the way he is. Red flag. Join in building treehouse. There you go. Do you want to say hi to your little sister? Come on, Forrest. I thought every sim hates fruitcake. No, sometimes they like them. You want to go sing a song for Sage? Your little sister? Come over here. Oh my gosh, she tried sitting up. <laughs> Depends on the quality of fruitcake sometimes. Oh my god, Kyle! <gasps> Kyle, Kyleson, oh my god! Wow, okay. <laughs> what are you wearing? No, don't say hi to Kyle. Kyle's busy. What's wrong? Oh, she needs to go to bed. Ky Kyle? Kyle, no. Kyle. Oh my god. When Uncle Kyle visits. I cannot believe this right now. Kyle, what are you doing? Are you trying to help? Why are you putting her on the floor? What is that thing he's drinking? It just made a noise. It's sad because Kyle has more connection to her than Everett at this point. I know. Is this house on the gallery? It is, yeah! It's tagged with custom content, though, so just beware of that. Okay, the crib has a baby mo mobile attached, so I'm gonna put Sage to bed. Look at how cute her little nursery is! I never want her to grow up. This is so perfect. I can't believe this. Petal should go for Kyle. Kyle, do not pee on my baby! Do not pee on my baby. Are you hungry, Forrest? You are. Are you going to ask Kyle Kyleson for food? Food. I'm hungry. Kyle's a loose cannon. <laughs> he really is. To be fair, Everett's doing great right now. Um, he's actually helping Aster build a treehouse. So they're out here working together. And I'm happy for them. 
I'm glad that they're spending some quality time together looking confused at the tree. Good work, kid. Just start hitting the tree. However, it's like, I don't know what to do. I've never done this before. Okay, you're gonna soothe to sleep. And then you're gonna play a lullaby. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. It is so wholesome, isn't it? I love this freaking, this freaking nursery, you guys. I'm actually obsessed with it. Okay, go take a nap. You need a nap really bad. <laughs> you need a nap! Okay, they're out here building. Forrest, did Kyle get you some food? Okay, it looks like Kyle did get you some food. But now you're trapped in here. Where's Kyle? Ky oh, he's dancing in the bathroom. Up! Up! Pick me up, Kyle! Up! I'm gonna miss Kyle when he leaves, I know. He's just literally so into dancing. Like, look at him go. Yeah, I know I can free him if I reset the high chair, but I, I kind of don't want to. Kyle is amazing. I haven't had Kyle visit my other game files, so I'm happy that Kyle visited here. Oh, wow, look, they got the whole floor done so far. How long will this take? It looks like they're... They might finish it today if they keep trying. <clears throat> so that's exciting. Keep Kyle forever? I can't keep Kyle forever unless he asks to move in with us. But even then, I don't think I would let him stay forever. Alright, let's let Forrest out. Wake up! Sorry your nap is over already, Petal. I'll clean up ever Kyle. What's the house's name on the gallery? Um, I forgot. It's something like Sims in Bloom something. But it's my most recent upload, so it should be pretty easy to see. Clumsy lesson. Oh, no. What happened? I don't even know what happened. <gasps> Wait, these are my winter crafts that I made. Oh my god, they're so freaking cute. I love it. What if we just replaced Everett with Kyle? I don't know, you guys. We'll have to see what happens. <laughs> I don't know if I want to date Kyle Kyleson. Don't I also need to make a death flower? How do I make a death flower? I don't actually know. At least Kyle's loyal. Alright, why don't you play Sim Shape? You redeemed scritches for Olivia? Oh, thank you. I'm sorry I missed it. I got you. Oh, she's just hanging out with her son. So cute. An orchid and a lily. Okay, I wonder... Can someone look up where I can find those? Because I can go look for them. Oh my god, is the treehouse done? Wait, that's so perfect too. The ladder's right there. Hold on. Set decorations. Ooh. Pirate, fairy tale, island, or space explorer. I'm going to do space explorer decorations. Oh, our kit, our friends are going to be so jealous. Set admission rules. Kids only. Uh, climb up treehouse ladder. How do I add on the slide? I thought that I could add a slide to it. Do you all know? You can buy both a pomegranate and orchid at, at the grocery and flower shop at Henford on Bagley. Oh, that's true. Do you think I should go make a little shopping trip over there today? It's an upgrade. Oh, parents have to upgrade it. Oh. Sliding pole or a slide. Go make a slide for your son. It's the least you can do after being... A cheater. Alright, Forrest, go to the bathroom. 
Petal and Kyle can woohoo in there. Oh my god, you guys. Naughty. Kyle, look, I'm really happy that you're proud of yourself and you don't have any shame. Do not get naked in front of my son! Kyle, no. <laughs> I cannot. Oh my god, poor Forrest. Look, you guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening. I would like to think that was an accident, Kyle. Forrest is traumatized. Yeah, I'm traumatized too. Oh, are you trying the fruitcake? Do you think you're going to like it? Well, I guess we'll find out. What is this power sip that Kyle likes? Oh, he hates it. I want you to try Kyle's energy drink. This might have to be the end of our Kyle fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle just left one of his power sips here. Is that why Kyle never sleeps? I don't know. I'm going to try it. He looks concerned. He's like, what is in this? I gave it to the child. Yeah, what's wrong? Is it not? Is it bad? Trusting the universe. Oh, Kyle's watching him drink it. Thanks for the follows, by the way. Welcome in. I don't think it's alcohol. It's, I think it's an energy drink, chat. It's juice. Oh, crap. What is this? Llama Berry Blast. From the absolute privilege of enjoying a refreshing power sip, Aster's taste buds are torn between celebrating and wanting to call the police. Everything he thought he knew is now wrong. It's delicious yet terrifying, sweet but sinister. All and all he can think about is drinking more. Smooth sipping from playful. Oh. So it makes him really playful. Interesting. Well, that's good. You can go play in your new treehouse, buddy. Play Space Explorer. I'm going to get the kid addicted to caffeine. I know. I'm a bad person. What did you... Tentacles by Petal? Girl, this is not a hentai. This is a family drama. What is going on? Oh my god. I cannot with my sims right now. Okay, let me feed you. What is happening, chat? <laughs> Alright. I know you're hungry, Sage. I got you. Aster is just gonna go have the time of his life. My house is full of inappropriate behavior. Quirk hates being held. Sage particularly dislikes being held, especially by a non-caregiver. Oh, great. Well, that is unfortunate because I need to feed you. So you don't want to have my milk right now? I gotta feed you somehow. She's hungry. I'll try to bottle feed. Oh my god. I don't want your milk. <sighs> the baby needs to calm down. Kyle, what are you doing? Also, he's not cleaning up after himself. This is too much for me. Kyle, I don't need your help. Thank you. We should do photos with Sage. Yeah, I definitely want to. You're starving! Chat, what do I do? She's not drinking. She doesn't want milk. I don't think I can give her baby food. Because she can't sit up by herself. Oh my god. Maybe try comforting her first. Okay, comfort. I love you so much. Cuddle. She... Okay. Miss girl. With the attitude. 
<laughs> she looks like she wants to murder me. Madge. <laughs> This is too much for me. Y'all, I did not want to have an intense infant, but here we are. Look. You need to eat. You're hungry. This is not a matter of yes or no. This is a matter of life or death. Okay. Come on upstairs and go to sleep, Forrest. Okay, she's eating. She's eating. Oh my god. Why are you... Forrest is outside by the pool with no supervision. Oh my god. I cannot right now. Aster's going to bed. We're still trying to upgrade the treehouse, by the way. It's taking me decades to do it. Okay. After I feed you, um, I'm going to change your diaper. And then I'm going to put you down to sleep, okay? It's all going to be fine. Everything is going to be a-okay. <laughs> uh, my gallery name is Rochella, just like my Twitch name. I just want to get some pictures of that. Oh. Oh. Oh no. A little cursed. It's fine. <laughs> why is Kyle just standing there? You know, I don't know why Kyle's just standing there. Okay, see? This is proof that you do like me. You're smiling now. Not Kyle in the background picture, you know. I did not know that upgrading this treehouse was going to take, like, literally all day, by the way. Like, this is too much. Oh, did you just pee on me? Oh, no. Sage... Free air tinkler. Sage frequently pees during diaper changes. Are you serious? That is... Unfortunate. To say the least. Aww. Kyle just wants to be a dad. <laughs> yeah, he's really acting like a dad, isn't he? Okay, you're almost done out here, Everett. Oh my gosh. I'm so lucky. How is that lucky? I just got peed on. Okay, look. I love you. Kiss goodnight. Play lullaby. Who came up with these names? <laughs> I think they're hilarious. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom and get some food now. Forrest is finally upstairs and he looks devastated. What world is this house in? Uh, it's in San Sequoia, the new world. Kyle, get out of the bathroom. I have to pee. Are you for real? Kyle wouldn't leave the bathroom? And he's leaving his sip in here? I cannot right now. Kyle Kyleson is a menace. Oh my god. Oh, did you finish the treehouse upgrade? Hold on a minute. Oh, look at that. That's actually really cool. I like it. Kyle Kyleson's an angel. They're over here talking about like their failing relationship and Kyle's just like, yeah, I'm on Instagram. Oh my God, Kyle. Read the room. What's up? Kyle's torn between being a great dad and innately being a bro. I think Kyle's on more than just Instagram. Do you think he's on Simder? I bet he is. When does Kyle leave? You know, that's a great question. Uh, not till Thursday. 
unfortunately. So, um, that's great. Kyle, could you please clean up a little bit more? Yes? Is he cleaning up? I think he's cleaning up. Thank you so much for doing your job. Doing literally the least. Winterfest with Kyle? Oh, that's true. He'll be here. Um. Alright, well, we're gonna send Petal to bed. Why is Aster awake? Aster? Are you still hyped up on that energy drink? <laughs> Kyle Fest? Oh my gosh. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Till Thursday to see if your marriage will fall to pieces. Well, we're not even married yet. That's the sad part. We're not even married yet. I'm not even engaged, technically. <laughs> Alright, go to sleep, kiddo. Did you ever do your homework, by the way? Okay, you did. <gasps> wow! Cue the punchline. Aster and Everett just can't stop cracking each other up. It's always a hoot when these two are in the same room. <gasps> Oh wait, he wants to be a jokester with his dad? I think that's really cute. I'm gonna say yes. The poor, poor forest has like this strict family dynamic. And Aster has the opposite. He's a jokester with his parents. Everett, why are you going to sleep in the pool again? My dude. Now, I know you're in the doghouse, but I don't think Petal is going to ask you to sleep in the pool. Okay? That's a little excessive. I need you to not be dead weight anymore. Get up here and go to sleep. Uh-oh, the baby's awake. <sighs> I just had a dark thought. Oh no. I know you don't like being held, Sage. Let's play peekaboo, maybe. Oh, look at this! Aster the dream child and Forrest getting middle child treatment. For real. It's time to go to sleep! Why are you awake right now? Thank you for the follows. Welcome in, friends. Petal is gorgeous. The baby is so sad. Why are you so sad? I love you. We'll give you some cuddles. Thank you for the follows. Welcome in, friends. Thank you. You want to do some tummy time, maybe? Milestone unlocked! Oh my gosh! Sage started moving her arms to reach for nearby objects! Now she can ask for toys and play with the playmat toys! <gasps> Wait, that's so exciting! We could get her a little toy! Aww! Does anyone have opinions on whether high school years is worth it? I'm not sure if I should buy it in the sale. I personally really like high school years, mostly for the build-buy items. And the cast. I think it's really good. Also, sometimes it's fun to go to school with your teens. I do it like once or twice before I'm like, and that's all I care about. But I don't know if that's worth it for you. Go to work. Go to work. It's 4 a.m. Is she a workaholic? She is a workaholic. Well. We just left our infant on the ground. And went to work. <laughs> uh. Maybe Kyle can save her, maybe. 
She literally said, peace, this family is too much for me. Okay, honestly, Sage is a self-soother, so that's pretty good. I'm just going to see how long I can leave her there. Try to go night-night. Oh my god, my bills are 5,309 simoleons. Oh no. We're in danger, chat. Okay, school starts in an hour. Everett has work soon. She's fine. She's doing great. Can you actually wake up and feed the kid, though? That's scary. Yeah, and also Sage paid the bills. <laughs> Really impressive. Um, Forrest was dreaming about a spider. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god, you guys. Good morning! Alright, let's feed the baby. Oh, he has his founding father beard back. Oh god, I'm gonna have to shave that. Kyle needs to get a job and pay our bills. Yeah, for real. He's just freeloading over here. Sage is running this house from day one. She really is. I think this is the first time ever it has interacted with his daughter. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, It's a little sad, but it's okay. I'm going to have him go shave his beard. Oh, Kyle, are you picking up? Oh, thank God Kyle Kyleson is helping out around the house. Oh my God. It's 4 a.m. from Sweden. Welcome in. So late for you. All right, you're going to go take a nap? Yeah, honestly, you probably should not have gone to work before going to work in an hour. Are you joking me, Petal? Do you think this is some sort of joke? I can't believe this. Yeah, uh, this is Kyle. Kyle's hanging out. Okay, have a good day at school, Aster. I'm really sorry you're not doing well. Uh, cool milestone unlocked. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, you're going to work with your founding father beard too? Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> did she even get paid? I don't think she did. That is unfortunate for us. Well, I need you to work hard because your work performance has not been going well. Okay. Okay. You're doing uni work while watching my stream? Well, I got you. Okay, Petal's going straight to work too. Wait, is Kyle staying home with my child? Oh god. Kyle is staying home alone with my infant and my toddler. Oh no, I'm gonna avoid the situation. Dang it, Everett. Always doing the wrong thing. Will I get promoted today? Honestly, I think Petal might get promoted to level 7. This is bad, though. I don't think Kyle should be in charge of my two young children. Because he let my eldest drink an energy drink. And also got naked in front of my toddler. Um, So, you know, is there no food in the house? There's no food in the house. There's fruit cake. Okay, you can have fruit cake. That's fine. That's fine. Take a piece of fruitcake, buddy. Don't go downstairs. No, I'm resetting you. That's too much for me. I'm teleporting you. <laughs> Take a piece of fruitcake. We can fix him. This is Kyle's redemption arc. Kyle's big day. Okay, Kyle, what are you going to do for my kid? He's eating some fruitcake. I don't even know if he likes fruitcake. He's a picky eater, so... What do you think, Forrest? Oh, he doesn't seem to mind it. Kyle's like, what's up, little dude? I'm taking care of you while your mom and dad are at work. <laughs> and Forrest is like, you're the best, Uncle Kyle. <laughs> yeah, I teleport my toddlers all the time. No shame. You're the best, Uncle Kyle. Okay, well, I'm going to use my tablet and get my... Actually, I'm going to talk to Blurfy a little bit. Forest skills are kind of lacking pretty deeply. <sighs> Anyways. 
Yeah, I really like Celeste Michelson too. I think it's really cool how she's canonically trans. Why won't you... Why won't you go babble to Blurfy? Just says, what's that? That's weird. How do you teleport your toddlers? Uh, you just have to shift, uh, or sorry, you have to control, or sorry, how do you teleport toddlers? Alt, no. Shift, click. Wow, that was a, that was a ride for me. I do it automatically, so my brain doesn't even know what keys I'm pressing. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Coda, thank you for the first time Prime sub chat. You know what that means. Enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing, but most importantly, enjoy your new smile. Yeah, Celeste is trans. I saw uh, someone posted on Twitter today. It's really cool. And then I think, um, I forget their name. There's another Sim who's non-binary. I don't remember. Is their name like Joe or something? What is it? I can't remember. J, that's it. I knew it started with a J, but I couldn't remember. Yeah, the new sheep stool is from the new pack. Isn't it cute? I just got this game on PS4. Is it good on PS4 or better on PC? I think I'm a little biased because I think every game is better on PC. And I've never played it on the PS4, so I'm not sure. It's probably fine if you prefer console. Uh, grades are up. Nice, Aster. Let's go. Let's go. Did you get a new milestone? Oh, for losing a tooth. That's exciting. I love that for us. Yeah, we love their representation. I think it's really cool. You you learn about Celeste and Jay if you do like the San Sequoia secrets. Kyle's like, let's go, little dude. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to cook food so bad. First blowout milestone. Uh-oh. Kyle! Help! Kyle, please! I made a stinky poo-poo! Okay, Everett's home. Everett, I need you to, first things first, cook something, because we don't have any food for the family. Do we have the ability to cook something? We do, okay. Chicken stir fry. All right, did you do your homework, buddy? Go do your homework, come on. Kyle. Oh my God, Kyle is changing her diaper. I cannot believe this. This is incredible. Thanks, Kyle. She hates it. She does not like having a stranger help her out. Kyle MVP for dealing with the blowout? Yeah, I think so. What? Why am I on the ground? Hello? Get fed by Kyle. Oh, never mind. That was a weird glitch. Get fed by Kyle, please. Please feed me. Working on your shell challenge while I lurk. Enjoy. Feed me. Help. <laughs> Why is Kyle not helping me? Thank you for the bits, Bree. Oh my goodness. Not the puns again. You think Kyle wants to date Petal? I don't know. He hasn't made a move or anything. We got promoted to sap splicer. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, uh, we're about to pass out. Petal needs to go to bed. Like, right now. This is not good. This is what we get for going to work in the middle of the night. I should have stopped her. Do Sims pay taxes? Uh, no, but they pay bills. Okay, we have food now. Go to the bathroom and then oh my god kyle are you gonna help my infant kyle are you gonna feed her get fed by kyle please kyle 
I'm getting upset. What are we going to do about Everett? I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, Everett, I'm going to have to have you come take Sage from Kyle. Kyle's trying to kill her. It's happening. Cow plant? Uh, what about it? Kyle is trying to kill Sage. <laughs> Please feed her. Thank goodness. And then we need to give her a bath, too. This is not going well for us. <laughs> like, my sims are not doing the best at the moment. Only Aster is. Aster is, like, living his best life. Oh, you want me to feed Kyle to the cow plant? Yeah, that is one of the options we have. Um, or, sorry, you want me to feed Everett to the cow plant. That is, in fact, an option. We'll have to see. Not Kyle. I mean, if Kyle eats the cow plant cake, that's on his own terms. I'm not gonna... I can't control him. Okay, bath time! Everett is really stepping up and helping right now, though, while Daisy is, like, super exhausted, so... I do appreciate him for that, at least. Okay, let's go play. Let's go play pretend. We'll play house. Because we need to have some fun. It's because Aster knows the wisdom of power sip llama blast. <laughs> yeah, he did in fact partake in it. Also, did anyone download my house into like summer or spring? And does it look really pretty? Because I haven't seen it yet. Oh, first bath milestone. Let's go. Dag, dag. Where are we? Okay, go take a bath. I think we can put Sage to bed, right? Yeah, Sage is getting tired. All right, soothe to sleep. Maybe play a lullaby. Maybe keep Everett and Sage until Forest, until Sage and Forest are children. We'll have to see what happens. I'm not going to, like, force anything. I do think that him flirting with someone else is a big no-no, though. He's playing house. That's so stinking cute. A couple people did, and they said it's beautiful. Oh, that's good. Okay, I must have missed their messages. Petal, what? No, Petal. Petal girly pop. We are not swimming right now. Mm -mm. This is not how we get our hygiene up. No, ma'am. We cannot be serious right now. You're literally like half dead and you're not going to spend that time swimming. We have to get our needs up while we're still okay. Her fun is going up though. Fun schmun. We need to focus on survivability. Kyle is the only one out here surviving. I need to drink his power sip llama blast. But I haven't seen him have one in a while. I have twin infants and it's crazy. Oh my god. That scares me so much. Because what if I have twin infants in my 100 baby challenge? That's what I'm like most scared of. Because so far I haven't had twins in the 100 baby challenge. But it could happen. At any time. Everett, are you for real right now? Get, get out of the pool. Oh my... My god. Ah. I'm struggling right now, gamers. Get out of the pool. Okay, go to sleep. Aster, I'm really sorry, but you're gonna have to go to bed soon, too. You can get some through quick meals. Oh, really? The llama blast? Okay. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, Forest. I have too many. Ch I have too many Sims. I don't think I've ever been so stressed playing The Sims in my life. Like, it's actually so hard. I don't know what's happening. This is your chat reminder to drink some water. I want to shave Everett's freaking beard too, but like, I haven't had time. 
What happened to your food? Why are you not grabbing food? I told you to grab food. Bit leftovers before bed. I can't believe this. You gave them this beautiful house and they give you ceaseless chaos. They do. Also, look at Aster. He's learning from Uncle Kyle how to dance. Uncle Kyle's like, yeah, get into it. You got this, little guy. Like this, Uncle Kyle? You're doing it, kid. Proud of you. Oh, my God. Uncle Kyle might not be the best influence. I'm just going to put it out there. Raise the bros early. I cannot. <laughs> okay. You're going to eat food. You're going to come upstairs and you're going to shave your founding fathered beard. And then you're going to go to bed. That's how this is going to play out. Oh my god. Kyle is a vibe. Oh, oh my god. He's sleeping. I've never seen Kyle sleep before. He's actually sleeping in the guest room. You have no idea how happy that makes me. He ran out of energy drink. Can he actually run out of energy drink? I didn't even know that's like a possibility. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's sleeping. Upgrade the bed for faster energy. I'll have to see if I have the... Uh... Why is your beard still there? No. Because what we're not going to do is have this be your preferred hair length. I had it set to like this one. Why does it do that? I feel like sometimes um, it like resets your preferred hair length. Okay, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Everyone go the frick to sleep. Go to sleep. There we go. All right. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I think honestly, this is a really good stopping point for our gameplay today because we spent so much time building. We finally finished the family home and we got a couple hours of gameplay in, which I'm really impressed with. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it there for today. We did a lot. We also have a new baby, which is really exciting. Um... I forgot to unclick enable hair growth. No, I want the hair growth to be there. Um, I just don't know why it set his preferred hair length to the long one because I didn't do that. That's what I mean. It like changed it. So, um, but yeah, this was a great stream. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Um, thank you. Seriously. I'm very blown. Oh, Um, well, I was going to say I'm very blown away by all of the subs today, but we might be all in danger. So there's that. Um, <laughs> did you all plan that? <laughs> um, but I'll be here tomorrow. I think tomorrow I want to continue playing our Sims and Bloom legacy. Uh, and I'll be live here at 5 p.m. Eastern. So feel free to come by tomorrow for some more gameplay. Oh my god, we're saved. <laughs> Thank you both so much. We got two first time subs from Catastrophe, or, or Catastrophic, and Grootsy. Oh my god, and Kirsten. Holy can. Are you for real? Can we get a nice in the chat? Enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing, but most importantly, I hope you three enjoy your new smiles. Okay. I'm being trolled too much today. It's too much. Um, but thank you for all the follows as well. If you did enjoy the stream, don't forget to hit the follow button. Um, all of these videos will be uploaded on my YouTube channel as well. So uh, please make sure you go check that out. Subscribe over there. 
Uh, I'm also doing the 100 infants challenge over on YouTube. So I would love for you all to watch those videos as they're our newest series. And I'm really excited about it. Um, there is a hype train going on right now. Why would you all do this? <laughs> uh, but thank you for the follows. Welcome in. That's some scratches for Olivia. Feel free to join my Discord server as well. There's a link in the chat. Um, in Discord, I'm going to post our weekly schedule in Discord tomorrow. Mama Karina, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. You want to end stream? Hype train. Uh-oh. I'm being held hostage, you guys. Um, yeah, feel free to join Discord. I'm going to post our weekly schedule in Discord tomorrow. Um, but I do plan on playing with this family tomorrow because I'm having too much fun with them. The drama is scrum diddly umptious. It's really good. And I'm loving playing with this new pack. So I hope you all are enjoying it as well. Um, <laughs> you want us to, you want me to suffer because kindness? No, I, I get it. I understand. Um, but yeah. It's info for your shell in Discord. Uh, yeah, you can type exclamation point shell in the Discord or here in chat and it will give you the info. And uh, yeah, it looks like we're touring it in 10 days. 10 days, exciting. This pack is probably the most fun I've had in a while. Same, honestly, I like, I'm so obsessed with The Sims. Like, I don't want to stop playing it. It's honestly a problem. Um, but yeah, I'm having a really good time. So thank you all for sharing the fun and the laughter today with me. I can't wait to see you all tomorrow and see what happens. I'm checking the calendar and it looks like we're going to have forest aging up tomorrow. And also probably uh, sage as well at least two birthdays tomorrow also christmas with kyle kyleson is gonna happen so we'll see how that goes uh <laughs> but yeah it's gonna be really exciting um i'm planning on uploading episode two of the sims in bloom let's play to my youtube channel tomorrow so if you're waiting for that stay sorry uh it will be up tomorrow uh but yeah it's very exciting and I'm having a lot of fun. So thank you all. We're going to go find someone to raid. I feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over again. Which I do tend to do. So let's see who's live. Let's see who's live. Um, I'm looking for Sims. Ooh, we got lots of people playing Sims today. Um, okay. All right. <laughs> Excuse my yawn. Sorry about that. Oh my god. Okay, I know we raided this person recently, but in their title it says they have newborn kittens. So I think we have to go say hello. Um, so we're going to go raid my friend uh, Planet Kenya, who is playing The Sims right now as well. Make sure to drop a follow. And also, I want to see the newborn kittens, and I'm pretty sure she'll show us the kittens when we raid, so I'm excited. I hope you all are too. Uh, thank you again for all the love. Uh, join Discord, follow me on my socials, subscribe to YouTube. Thanks for the hype train, but I'm cutting you off. I'm cutting you off right now, chat. You're being cut. Thanks for the bits, Novocaine. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. I'll see you tomorrow, and I love you all a lot. So take care of yourselves and see you at 5 p.m. Eastern for more Legacy. Bye. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.